and greetings everybody hello twitter <laughs> twitterverse <laughs> god it's not even been called twitter in like a while uh twitch <laughs> greetings twitch land and hello everybody watching on youtube it would help if i get my own platform right i am resplendent seraph it's been a crazy day <laughs> so i knew early on uh during my work day that today was going to be a perfect opportunity to just get some nice chill settlement building we'll hang out we'll have a good time we'll level up our affinity with piper do some missions we'll really kind of get back into the meat of uh fallout 4 here and so just as we get into things as usual, the obligatory, very brief recap. We're going to... Uh, okay, so we're, we've returned to Sanctuary, but long story short, we were a, uh, a wife, lawyer, pre-war. One day, we're just having a normal day. The bombs drop. We run to a vault, only to find out that a decontamination pod is actually a freezing chamber. And within the span of five minutes... We emerge, well, within a span of like basically five minutes, some well-armed guy and some uh, person in a biohazard suit show up. They steal our son, kill the husband, they leave. We manage to get through the vault. It just takes us a little bit longer to get out uh, than, than the other people did. So by the time we emerge from the vault onto the surface, the trail is already uh, cold. And so we're trying to find our son. We're also trying to figure out what the hell happened because for us, five minutes passed. For the rest of the world, 210 years passed. And so now everything's very, very different. And we have just very recently managed to meet a few survivors from what had been a very large organization called the Minutemen. And they have proclaimed us <laughs> the general. And it's like, well, we're, the, we're a general of what? Like two people here? And so. That's going to be what we're doing today, is we're going to actually make this, at least begin to embark on the, uh, the process of turning this into a viable, functioning organization, and mostly for two reasons. Uh, first off, it's, it's kind of the right thing to do, help civilization rebuild. We have a much more intimate knowledge of how civilization can work than the survivors that have been enduring the survival struggle of the wasteland. And so we can be a very, uh, we can be of significant help to them. And uh, also they could be useful to us because we are just one, we're just one person. But, uh, you know, it, and I'd explain this at the end of last stream when I accepted this whole general position. It's like, well, but if we have an organization and multiple people and multiple eyes and ears out in the wasteland, well, that's all the more people that might pick up on a clue for who stole this, our infant son. Uh, and we might get a better lead on Sean by just giving everybody standing orders. Hey, anybody that's kidnapping anybody, uh, period, uh, I need you to, you know, document any kind of either hearsay, rumor, sighting, what have you, funnel it in. Of course, we're also going to need to establish the logistics for all of this, and that's going to be what we're doing today. And so, um, and I'm happy to kind of go into that. It's, it's also a role-playing exercise, but it's also fun. Plus, we do need to level up Piper's affinity as we get started here. Let's switch to in-game. We'll fire up, we'll fire up Fallout 4. Get some more wasteland shenanigans in. Ah, oh, I needed just a nice chill settlement building stream today. I don't know how much we're going to be able to build just by the virtue of Look good. Perfect. In fact, my level, my volume level, may be a little on the high side. Um, maybe I'll die. At one point. Okay. Yeah, that's, okay, good. That's the correct volume. <laughs> yeah, there was booming a little bit. I'm like, uh, that's going to be a little loud there, Seraph. Yeah, that should be okay. Okay. If I do need to time, uh, dial that down, there's the notes for that right there. So, but in any event, uh, we are playing with a bunch of mods. We haven't gone completely crazy with the mods. We wanted to try to stick to anything that was lore friendly. And so that was one of the guiding principles. 
I did not just go onto a collection and download a bunch of mods that I didn't at least know. Uh, even though I haven't played with all of these mods, I at least vetted them to a degree. And so we've got, for example, like we've got this Desert Eagle here, which looks pretty awesome. That was a really, really useful weapon, especially last last episode, because we had to deal with a Yao Guai. And so, oh boy. Yeah, we still have a lot of things around here to explore here. So one thing we may do here is we may just go up to medicine. Let's take some rat away. And maybe what we'll do here. What time is it in game? Let's take a look. It's fairly late in game. Okay, so you know what? Let's let's start a new day here. We're gonna yeah. go. We're gonna go in here. We're just gonna save. Okay, uh, dog meat, let me in the house. Dog meat, let me in the house. Ah! <laughs> Realism of a dog. Always getting on her foot. We'll just go in this way. Perfect. Okay. And we'll just sleep till... Well, that's interesting. Yeah, but we'll sleep. We'll sleep a normal eight hour here. Hope no... Other missions come in. Good. We feel real well rested. Did we not? Okay, good. good All right. And now it's going to be very early. Yep. Nice and early. So we'll save. Yes, we'll save. Okay. Moon looks awesome. Stars are pretty cool. Okay. But let's begin here. Let's, uh... I think the best place to start is let's just clean up sanctuary here uh actually before we do that let's also make sure there's nothing actually out here because we didn't actually really clear the town we kind of went through with codsworth and explored a little bit but we really didn't properly yellow trench coat we don't need that ah look at that we've got a safe over here perfect you know what i probably don't Let's pick this safe. Piper likes it whenever we pick locks. And there are two or three that we can pick here. So we'll get this one. Nice. There we go. Might just leave that 10 millimeter pistol. Perfect. Piper like that. We also like the Piper like that. Woohoo. Mole rat teeth. We will take that. All right. Let's just... Before we really delve into truly cleaning this whole thing up. Let's uh, get up here. Because I think there's a bag or something up here. Nope. There is not. That's just a tree. That's just a tree. But I do think we're out over here. Okay, not that house. It's going to be over here. All right, so the bag is on top of that roof, and here's the cellar. So let's go check this thing out. We didn't actually check out the root cellar, which is normally one of the first things I do when I start a new game of this. Because it's got a real nice, well, I mean, it's obviously got some survival stuff in here. It's really useful, especially when you're starting off and you have literally nothing. Hello, cat. So my cat has been asleep pretty much since I got home. And now that I'm talking, I've uh, woken her up. <laughs> So now she's going to want some attention. Hello, kitty, kitty. Okay. Hello, cat. Hold on a second. <laughs> I have to pet the cat. This is important. Hello, Cleo. Say hi to everybody, cat. Ow, that's my hand. Don't bite me. Ugh. The only cat I've ever had that will literally bite the hand that feeds her. But she does it as a sign of, like, affection. Cat, you have... You are asking... Uh, you have terrible timing, sweetheart. What do you want, cat? <laughs> you want to just hang out? Yeah, you want to just hang out? Good girl. Yeah, she's just here to hang out. Cool. Hello. So that's obviously not where that is. Ooh, we're really close. Let's try this. There we go. We got it. Yes. Piper will like that. We've got tons of 10 milliliter. Oh, that's right. You know what? I should be picking these up because they've got ammo in them. Forgot. I keep forgetting they've got ammo in them. Mm. At this stage. Always on good behavior, aren't you? Piper. Always on good behavior, aren't you? Ah, there we go. Perfect. 
I try to be. Seems like you're doing better than trying. I appreciate it. Too few folks can be bothered. Of course, in my experience, if you want to do real good, playing nice only gets you so far. I mean, look at Diamond City. A place I've been trying to warn of real danger. But every issue I publish, all I hear is, Oh, Piper, why don't you ever publish anything happy? Piper, why can't you write something nice for a change? It's enough to make me want to hang up my hat some days. <laughs> is Diamond City really in danger? It's not like there's raiders pounding on the gate. Are you kidding me? There is a very real chance the city leadership has been infiltrated by an institute synth. A synth under the control of an organization widely known to kidnap or murder anyone that stands up to them. I'd take raiders at the gate any day of the week over that. Of course, making sure folks are actually listening. <laughs> That's a battle in itself. Sounds like it must be exhausting. Huh, no kidding. But people, they deserve to know the truth. Sure, it can be scary, knowing what's really out there. <laughs> a night doesn't go by, I'm not afraid. Some institute drone will decide today's the day to pay old Piper and family a visit. But it's worth it, because I know the truth. That's what protects us. Mm. Couldn't agree more. How can you protect you and yours if you don't know what you're facing? Exactly. Most folks, though, they'd prefer a comforting lie. Not me. I've seen firsthand what the truth can do. My sister and I... We grew up way out in the Commonwealth. Tiny little settlement. Our dad, he was part of the local militia. <laughs> Keeping the raiders off our backs and the Mirelurks out of our latrines, as he'd describe it. Well, uh, one day, our dad turns up dead. His captain, asshole named Mayburn, claims raiders must have gotten him on watch. Well, I didn't buy it. I start making inquiries. Turns out, the captain, he'd sold out. Thought he wasn't getting paid enough to babysit the town. He was gonna leave the gates open one night. Let a group of raiders sack the place and take a cut of the profits. My dad found out and was gonna turn Mayburn in, but Mayburn got to him first. And I wasn't about to let that bastard get away with murder. I tried talking to the mayor, but he wouldn't listen. So, I papered the entire town in posters. Wanted for gross dereliction of duty, Captain Mayburn. The mayor sure wanted to talk after that. <laughs> the town threw Mayburn out on his ass and were dug in when a very surprised group of raiders finally showed. What happened after that? We made do. Sis was still pretty young at the time and Mom was... out of the picture. So, we got by on the kindness of others for a while. Eventually, I saved up enough to book us both passage with a caravan, and then we moved on up to the big city. Called it home ever since. I'm sorry about your dad. Thanks. It was hard after he was gone, but knowing that he died doing right, that's always made it easier. But hey, I, I'm sorry if I've been rambling. I just get fired up sometimes. It's just nice to talk to someone who, who actually seems to get it, you know? So, should we head out? Perfect. All right, so all of that gallivanting around Diamond City paid off. And we've already managed to get Piper to talk to us for the first time. So that's good. Uh, and, and the squeaking you heard is my cat playing with her toy. She's so cute when she plays. So during that, I, I, muted the, I muted the microphone just to talk uh, talk to my cat. <laughs> She's a good girl. She caught a venomous snake yesterday. Oh, that was an adventure. <laughs> she really is the best guard cat I've ever had. <laughs> she kills everything <laughs> anything stupid enough to come in my house oh come on seraph get in get up here all right let's try this oh my goodness i'm having a really hell of a time here. here we go 
There we go. Managed to get up that time. Good grief. All right, let's see what else up, what's up here. Yeah, we'll take that. Sure. I don't need to worry. Well, you know what? Fine. We'll take that. Okay. Okay. So let's move on. What else do we got? What else have we got over here? We already scrapped this. Okay. And you know what? That... Um... Uh, now you know what let's let's not mess around with that just yet what'd you find boy what'd you find oh good good job boy that's one of the best things about dog meat when you have him with you sometimes he'll just find stuff and he'll bark and kind of lead the way and lead you right to it it's awesome okay so let's see is there anything else in here there are there's the other that's one other safe that's the floor safe I was looking for She's drinking her water. Good cat. Sweet. Sure, why not? Grab that one too. No, the ears have not been good to that. Uh. Jeez. Wait, what was that? Oh, there's cigarettes under there. Cool. I don't think we need the suit, but we'll take that anyway. Let's see. Anything else in here? Nope. Skeleton. Okay. And then it was a plaque. I don't have to worry about it now. Okay. Nope. There's our sunrise. Perfect. Don't think we need to go through that room or that building, that house. We already went through that house. So let's cruise over to the beginning. See, here's what could throw people off. The fact that there are two dog houses. So a lot of times when players will dismiss dog meat to sanctuary, They'll either go to this doghouse or they'll go to the doghouse all the way over that we just saw. So that's kind of why I was about to go into the build menu. And then I quickly talked myself out of it because there's no point to go into the build menu. Uh, yeah, let's pick up the TV dinner tray. We'll be scrapping that in a second. Kitty, kitty. Was a good cat cat. Be more money. Take that. Yeah, we'll take the fishing rod. All right, there's nothing else here. The issue is when we were over there, we could hear the turrets. So I can't build a bedroom in here yet because we can hear these turrets. So I'm either going to have to move these turrets or I just don't build a bed in that room. Because one of the issues that will bring down settlement happiness is if your settlers can hear any kind of motor from a turret or a generator or what have you, the settlement happiness will go down. So yeah, I'll have to decide whether or not to just move these turrets or I just won't put a bed in that room. We'll see what I do there. This is a house that'll have a safe in it, but this house is actually pretty cool. This this house will give us a little bit of a clue as to some of the mid, like post-war. Yeah, we can't turn on the television. It has no power. It's going to be one of the things we're going to be doing also. We're going to try and restore power here. Let's take the 10 millimeter pistol that's just sitting there. Uh, part of what we're ultimately going to be doing is uh so part of the role play of this is ooh, yeah we'll take the laundered rose dress because we'll want to do that yep we'll take the antifreeze all right so as we can see here's a makeshift bomb the tension trigger so if we open this safe we will blow ourselves up but if you could see this first uh you could just disable the bomb we'll disable the tension trigger and just like that we no longer have to worry about any of that shit. so let's go into the ledger terminal here first all right, no likeness here. Rest. Jesus, that sucks. Mm. Is it tab? Nope, wasn't tab. Tab exits. There's a way you can like tab through uh, with the directional buttons and you can like, actually that might be one. Okay, that's an error but um yeah a lot of the time if you see brackets or whatnot like that well except that's not close enough that's gonna be another error but um well whatever so we got uh tent here that's not it. um feet that might be our Sweet. there we go all right so sanctuary hills so essentially, totally high strung needs to relax. Keep telling them that. Not because it isn't going to take too much to figure out that we're looking at a a, um, a 
a dealer's kind of customer list here. I want something called Psycho. Not sure the stuff even exists. And if it does, do I really want, his ne want this Neanderthal using it? I guess it depends on how much he's willing to spend. Now, we've already encountered Psycho. So, we know that this has been a little while since this person was a resident here. Still owe for that last XL delivery, and we just picked up the XL, I think. Um, but anyway, uh, we'll probably bond words. Under I know they have a floor safe in there. I've seen it. Master bedroom under the dresser. Can't be that tough to crack. Concord, and then we got a bunch of people. Basically, in a, you know, customer list in uh, Concord, Boston, Dermot, longtime buff out customer, Polsky, old lady up her patio order. Pretty much have that. So we could pretty much figure out whoever was here was a chem dealer. Anyway, let's unlock the safe and see what's in here. But clearly we, um, <laughs> while we were in the vault, someone was a resident in town. At least one person. Yeah, we may as well take the weapon. Now that we know, <laughs> now we have a good reminder that we get, um, we get ammo every time we get that in there. Okay, so that's it for this house. Let's go to the next one. Just again, clear things out. I think this is... Oh, we got some Nuka Cola. We'll take the Nuka Cherry. Don't see anything else of real interest. That other house was kind of the big one. Yeah, we already... Okay, we already even built beds in here. All right, so now we can kind of go through here and let's really properly clear this place out. I think it's time. Yeah, we'll just clear that. Oh, and we have another doghouse. Because, you know, we didn't have enough doghouses. <laughs> so this is this is the third. Uh, it's just, it's so easy to, uh, I don't know why I'm doing that. Let's, uh, let's store that doghouse in a short shot. We'll just store it. Who knows? We might have a use for it later. We're not going to get that much for it. But we may as well chop down all the trees because we need all the wood we can get. Definitely need all the wood we can get. So at this point, this part just gets a little tedious as we go through and scrap anything that might be potentially useful. We just gotta go through. And it just takes a little while. But it's not difficult. Like I said, we just kind of have to do it. Now there are some mods that will make this easier. Because there are... Uh, I've seen a bunch of mods they're for settlement building. There's like one that will just clear everything. Um, there are some that have been somewhat curated. I tend to like to put the chemistry station over here. Um, but you know, who knows where I end up putting this thing. I think this is where you end up using it. But now that I'm looking at it. Okay. Yep. Got it. Okay. Right. Tires. Yeah. We're definitely scrapping the tires. We like rubber. We like rubber. We'll go over here. Scrap the wood. Uh, there's no other map. Yeah, okay, yep, we found some. Let's see. Here, it's really useful. Ooh, yep. Scrap the frame. And we can't scrap anything in here, unfortunately. Okay. This... A little guard tower here. At some point, we're going to try to probably build a bridge over that. That'll be nice. And then every so often, we'll just quick save just in case something happens. Ah, perfect. We'll just let that ad break kick in. Scrap you. Especially while we're just messing around here. Yeah, we'll just scrap that. Yeah, that lamp doesn't work anyway. Scrap that. Um, this is fine. Okay, bed. We're going to scrap the bed. This is a great office, especially for Preston. And usually what I'll do is I'll just assign this, uh, this space to Preston. Beds. Make sure we actually use the good ones, because they use its resources. And he can have uh he can have a roommate. That'll work. Uh, nope, can't do anything with that. 
We're just going to have to do that. It'll be fine. Perfect. But a nice to see that the add thing is actually working this time. That's nice. All right, let's do that. There we go. Good. We got nine beds now. Perfect. Moving along. I mean, I could put a second bed in there. Could easily put a second bed in here. Maybe I should. Hmm. Then this could be, you know. Or, I don't know. We'll keep this over here. Yeah, we'll put that in there. Yeah. There's two beds in here. We don't need to have, we don't need to stack people up that much. Uh, that looks nice. We'll just keep that over there. We don't need to go too ridiculous for things. Yes, we definitely want the oil. We want as much oil as possible. Always. And yeah, we'll keep the trash can. Alright, these beds are already set up. That lamp I don't think does anything. We'll scrap that. That will store everything in there. Perfect. Good deal. Move on. Okay. That is just crap. Let's just scrap that. Ooh, we've got wood over here. Let's scrap this. Can I not scrap any? Oh, I can't cut down any of this wood. That one we can. It's like practically out of the boundary. But these we can't. Why? Nobody knows. Nobody knows. Let's see. No. Over here. And like I said, I'm not going to bother fixing any of the other roofs in Sanctuary. Just because it takes a little while. Catering to not appreciative NPCs. <laughs> right? Uh, Alright, so that I'm going to need to grab in a second. Um... But yeah, we'll grab this. How you doing, ghosty? Okay, we already got beds in here. Perfect. All right, so this is basically all set. Well, let's grab... Cap. Mm -hmm. Let's grab the cap stash. Now let's do that. I like catering to NPCs, honestly, though. I do have I do have a lot of fun with the settlement building. Let's see. It's here. Dog meat's on a sign. Sturgis is on a sign. Interesting. Although I don't think... Assigning Sturgis to things is very rewarding. I don't remember that being a very rewarding process. Uh, do, doing the exact same thing. <laughs> That's right. You're uh, So you're about this point in your uh, Fallout 4 playthrough? So I know you're also uh, in the process of playing this. Yeah, this looks good. Okay. This house looks good. I don't see anything else here. It's always nice... To you know, being able to chat. Um, obviously, it's always good, you know, hanging out in general. But uh, it is nice that we play, like, a, a lot of the same games. So we could be like, yep, this is what I did here. And um, so, of course, at this point, it's still early. Plus, with the day I had, I just kind of want to veg out and uh, do some sediment building. We'll just build some nice, happy little settlements. <laughs> I think far away into everything. <laughs> So now we're going to fix our backyard. This is going to be fun. Plus, I'm looking to work up uh, Piper's Affinity as it is. And so this is a good opportunity to do that. Because obviously, your companions like spending time with you. Their affinity will, riot, will raise as you spend time with them. Even if you're not doing quote, quote, things they like. I don't know what the equation is. I'm sure there are people out there that do know. I I don't happen to know. Um, well, this used to be my neighbor's grill, but guess what? It's my it's my grill now. <laughs> I survived. He didn't. I'm I'm taking his grill. <laughs> gotcha. Now I appreciate that, Ghosty, because I, I do intend to put put this on uh, on YouTube. Plus, we could always have a, a spoiler ridden conversation on Discord at any at any time too. Um, but gotcha. Yeah. Uh, so I have a pretty good idea of where you're at. So let's see. All right. So that plus, I mean, I don't remember actually that that grill may have been mine. The bomb may have blown it over there, but I think that was my neighbor's grill. I think I stole my neighbor's grill. Whatever. Not like they're going to be using it anymore. So we already generated our first conversation with Piper. That's good. It means we're moving right along. There we go. Yeah, we're going to scrap. Yeah. Yeah. Radio only gives you rubber. I wonder once I get scrapper, if that will improve. It might. Put that over here. Yep, that'll do. 
Uh, oh god. Uh, I don't think I can close that door, can I? Oh. Yes, I can. Perfect. How does this go? Okay, this is seated over here. All right, so let's move that. So, hmm, <clears throat> Seraph. Alright. So now, now when someone sits here, missed it by that much. <laughs> oh, we're almost there. Okay. So now, now that's the front. I think I got it this time. There we go. So each seat, even the benches, have a front. And so if you want NPCs when they're sitting at stools to actually face it, you have to rotate it properly. Like that. Damn it, dog me. I just closed that. Just closed that, you little shit. <laughs> There's bad as Cleo with that. <laughs> Let's see. All right. Let's see. What am I doing here? Okay, we already checked out that safe. And we have a bed in here. Mm hmm. Let's grab the bed. Thank you. All right. That's the only problem. When you exit the um, settlement thing, sometimes it brings you back. Let's, uh, yeah, we'll have this be a bunk bed. Mm hmm. I'll have this be a bunk bed. Maybe if I tell it again, it'll listen to me. That'll do. We can have a decent number of people in here. Oh, God. This house will have three three people in it. For some reason, Codsworth likes to go to this house. Not my house. He likes to go to the house next door. I'm not quite sure why. I haven't, I haven't really figured that one out yet. But whatever. That's fine. Let's see. This could go over here for now. That's a perfectly fine place for an end table. And clearly I'm getting too granular with this. Ooh, fire extinguisher. Yeah, we're going to take that asbestos. Yeah, we'll scrap that. We'll scrap that. Mostly we're just looking for resources because we need them. We desperately need them. Um, yeah, we're in, we're in pretty, pretty dire need of just about anything that's going to be useful. Yeah, I'll leave that radio. Uh, let's see. Let's scroll that over. Mm, fine. It's going to be difficult. Now we'll... Okay. Wow, you are just being really difficult. Okay. Why it's being that difficult in that spot? I'm not really sure. Except this light, maybe? I'm not really sure what it's doing there. Uh, yeah, we'll just scrap that. Scrap you. Um, kind of like the idea of leaving this desk in here. We'll just scrap all this. Scrap, scrap, scrap. Sometimes I leave this file cabinet there, but I think it's okay. Because now we could, oh, uh, oh, yeah, I was, I was gonna put a bed here. I kinda like the idea of putting this bed here. There we go. Okay. And that's why I scrapped all of them so we can fit this in. But you know what? I could have left it. <laughs> I actually could have left it and it would have been fine. This is clearly just a mess. We'll I'd rather have materials. Yes, give me caps. Okay. Let's move on. Let's see what else we got. Okay. That is, this is the doghouse that dog meat, for whatever reason, tends to go to. So this one, we're going to grab and we're going to bring it over in front of our house so that when we ever if we ever do send dog meat home we'll know where to find him a lot of times when people can't find dog meat it's because he goes to dog house and then you can't you just can't track him down there we go that all do perfect there we go he's a good boy my dog Ha, 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 ha.
move over here. Oh, clear up more of this. Mostly just kind of clearing out space. Uh, yeah, let's put this over here. Move this over here. God, we haven't even gotten to Starlight Drive-In. So my plan is, just looking at the map, and I'll kind of show it in a second, but my uh, idea here is to... Um, yeah, that's a good place for that. That will do. Mm, yeah, this will do. That'll do there for there. So the idea... Yeah, that's just a complete junk thing. Oh, right. I used to have a mod that used to let me scrap the skeletons. I'll need to track that down so we can scrap those because it's really annoying to have just dead bodies in your settlement. That drives me crazy. Crazy? Not a fan. Not a fan of dead bodies in my settlements. <laughs> imagine that, right? Yeah, imagine just not being super thrilled about just dead bodies laying around. That is definitely something, that was like one of the first things I think we would do when we really start rebuilding. It's like, uh, yeah, no. I know you guys have been putting up with this ship for a while, but no. <laughs> we're not just going to have dead bodies here, there, and everywhere. Uh, you know what? Yeah, we're going to get rid of that. This chair can go over here for now. For now. Actually, we'll just store that in the workshop. You're going over here. Oh, right, that's why. All right, perfect. Now then. Uh, no, I'll just scrap that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. There we go, perfect. We want as many beds as possible because we are going to have a bunch of people here in... Uh, I usually toss them out of... Toss them out of sight or spite. I don't know. Oh, toss them out. Of, yeah, just get them out of sight. I don't know why sometimes they just don't disappear after so long. So you can do that. Um, some of them you can and some of them you can't. Uh, let's see if we can grab this one. It's actually a good point. Nope, we can't. Oh, has a pipe pistol though. But yeah, we can't. We can't grab that one. Uh, but yeah, there are other, there are other bodies and other locations that yeah you can grab. And just um, you know, drag them out of the cell, and then they'll they'll despawn. But uh, but not those. So there are a couple of bodies at a couple of settlements, and it seems like nothing you ever do gets rid of them. Um, at least in my experience, it's pretty frustrating. And if these you scrap, you never can rebuild them. So I kind of tend to leave these. Uh, I don't think anything can be done with these. Store the cram. I don't even think settlers will sit at them. There's no point to keep them. Ooh, that's a tire. Let's get us some rubber. Let's grab that. All right, I don't think there's anything. Ooh. Yep, we'll grab that. Perfect. Okay, is there anything else over here? Uh, but there are a couple of... Uh, but you're right. There are a couple of spots where you can grab it and just drag them out. And um, they'll either despawn if you bring them outside of the uh, settlement... Or at the very least, you can, like, hide them. So the ones at uh, Starlight, what I tend to do is build over them so that you just can't see them. The problem is they're still... The problem is they're still fucking there. <laughs> um, and yeah, sometimes they'll just... Depending on how the physics engine works, they'll just rise out of the... Uh, <laughs> they'll just rise out of the ground. Uh, it would work, work real well for certain um, horror mods. But uh, obviously, I'm not running any of those. We don't have anything else in here. Looks good. This looks good. That chair over there. This chair over here. This chair over here. That chair's fine. Boop, 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 boop. There we go. Marvelous. I don't think there's anything else we could really do with this location. Plus, we could hear the damn... Hear the damn... Uh, turrets from here. So yeah, I don't want to be... And now we can't. This is as far as... Okay, so if we move, if we build a bed in here, they wouldn't be able to hear it. I don't think it's worth it. I don't think it's worth it. I'll do something else with this house. Maybe I'll turn it into a guard station or something. I don't know. We'll figure out something to do with that. 
that area. Okay, so I think we've cleared out Sanctuary. Let's save and check our map here. So the idea here is... I don't think I've done that yet, have I? Oh, I have done that. Good, 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 good. Uh, I don't have anybody to do that here with, but one thing at a time. All right. So we do have local leader. That's good. That means we can start establishing some supply lines. So what I'm thinking here is because we ha we know it's here. That's a good central location for this general region. And we already have Ten Pines Bluff that's allied with us. We've got Abernathy Farm that's allied with us. And of course, we've got here that we're setting up shop in my own uh, old pre-war digs. So I'm thinking a nice little advanced kind of headquarters right around here that we could set up as like a trading post is uh, kind of the order of the day. So that's what we're going to do. Oh, let's also check Mama Murphy and see if we can give her some chems. Mama Murphy, you need the site? It's telling me Mantax will give us the right high for another insight into your destiny. Here you go. Oh, Mentats this time? So it's Mentats this time. They're good. <laughs> More of a chem for scientists and tech types. But who's to say old Mama Murphy ain't a closet genius? <laughs> <laughs> You're an addict. You need help. Here you go. Ah, that's it. I can feel the sight opening up. You're looking for a man. He can help you. But he... He ain't gonna be the man you expect. He's somewhere deep and dark, surrounded by folks with nothing but cruel intentions. But there's an echo, something in the past that can help you. When you meet the fat man and the angry woman, tell them to Remember the quarry and Lily June on the rocks, and they'll let you and your friend pass. <coughs> Don't mind me, kid. <coughs> the chems are just acting up a bit. I'll be fine, eventually. All right, so that takes care of the... Oh, you know what? That's another thing we should do while I'm thinking of it. The chemistry station is where we can make a lot of mods, as you can see. Uh, a lot of these I'm not going to make yet, but I think that's what I was looking for. And we have plenty to make with all of these. So let's do that. Should be fine. But you know what? Let's... Hey, Piper. Come here. Hey. Mm -hmm. Sure. Take a peek. All right. So let's... So we can also equip road leathers. Oh. Or... Hmm. Hey. You say... We can take road, le road leathers. <laughs> I was looking to equip it. So if we equip road leather... Ro uh, road leather... Uh, bleh. The road leathers... Uh, you could switch her outfit. This, this is the other the alternative outfit. This is fairly common. Hey, point the way. Uh, red leather trench coat is her default. But now we can also give her... Oh, let's also put those away by the time we go over there. Uh, those are her quarter outfit. And let's just see... Perfect. Alright, that'll work. Perfect. And that's a cool modded outfit that ends up suiting her a little better, in my opinion. That works. Cool. Oh, you know what? That also reminds me. We have a seam. I haven't actually looked for it yet. I don't see a neck seam, but this mod uh, removes the neck seams, but it may have already done it. I just want to make sure it was active. Now let's dump all the weapons we bought. <laughs> or grabbed. We'll also dry, uh, drop off some of the other weapons in uh, her um, outfits in our dresser. Completely forgot to do that. No reason to carry a billion of these. Yeah, I don't need a 44 subnosed anymore. 
almost put that all that in there. Oh yeah, we grabbed a sniper rifle. Um, actually, we probably should keep it. Because it does more damage than the bolt action rifle. And the sniper rifle has a scope. So yeah, put that bolt action rifle in there. We'll keep that. At this point, I think we could put the shotgun away. I don't think we're using the shotgun. Plus, the shotgun wasn't very rewarding for us last time we used it. There we go. Let's drop all this stuff in there. It's better. We're getting better here. I think we need... Oh, yeah. We definitely want to put one of bits. Mongrel dog meat. Yep. Put that all in there. Totally forgot to put all this shit away. Mm. Yeah, we'll keep the Nuka Cherries because we might need that to heal. We might... Oh, let's store all that. Perfect. Good. Now we're getting our weight back under control. Okay. Now let's cruise over here. Although maybe what I should do is bring a couple of items just to... One, one of the things we're going to want to do... Oh, yeah. We probably do... We want probably want to equip that. And we definitely want to equip that. I'm not sure what we were thinking there. But that goes there. Yeah, there was a bunch of just tweaks that I didn't get to probably because it was yeah. the end of session last time and I just totally forgot to do it so uh, I've somehow managed to only have three weapons main sidearm and melee I mean usually I don't so I think that's fairly typical I mean I know some people have like 10 or 12 different weapons right I don't know how they manage that many weapons but yeah I'll usually default to like a primary sidearm so in this case it's the 10 millimeter at the moment Later on, without getting into spoilers, there's a weapon called the Deliverer. That tends to be my primary weapon. I usually go with a melee weapon for times when I want to do a stealth kill or one times when ammo is really scarce. I'll have an energy weapon for things that are weak to energy weapons. I'll have like a heavy weapon. So like in this case, I've got that Desert Eagle and then a sniper weapon. And that's usually more than adequate. And most of the time, normally I have like eight or so. <laughs> oh, so normally you have eight, but this time you've only got like three. That's funny. Yeah, usually, uh, so I just listed off a whole lot more, right? But, um, but almost always, uh, I just kind of stick to the, the primary sidearm, the sniper weapon, and, uh, oh shit, I need to do a lot of damage in a very short amount of time. So let's, yeah, we're strength. We'll, we'll, we'll get rid of that. Uh, yeah, we'll get rid of that. Perfect. Okay. So far, so good. At this moment, I'm not really tinkering too much with armor, only because it doesn't really make sense for me to be um, really tinkering a lot with the armor. We're going to continue to find better stuff as we go. Right. I did. Well, you know what? We can... That's a tree I probably should scrap. Okay, perfect. But I can go to the chemistry station here and just withdraw what I need. So one thing I think I should do is we're going to need some ceramic almost for sure. Let's grab, let's grab six ceramic. I don't know how much I'm going to need. I don't remember if I'm going to need copper or not. Uh... I think we're going to need, you know what, let's just, let's just see what I need. There's one thing I'm going to want to do. I'm going to need to build a um, power generator, but I'm also going to want to build a recruitment radio beacon. Okay, so I need two circuitry, two crystal, six fucking copper, Jesus, uh, one rubber, ten steel. Well, we won't have any problem with the steel. We will need copper. You know what? We'll just leave what we need here. And then what we do need, we'll just, we'll go to Trudy and, and we'll get what we need from Trudy. Yeah, same I did. Find better and just remove mods from weapons, for example, and just reattach them to one. Yeah, at this stage. Now, once we get further into the game and we start getting bottlenecked by what the game gives us, then yeah, absolutely. We're going to want armor. And there's actually a point, a very specific point without getting into the details of it, where we're going to absolutely want armor. Um to be able to modify certain things, but that's not, that's not anytime soon. Let's see. And I've got plenty of, I've got plenty of ammunition. So that's good. So yeah, I've got my switchblade here. 
which isn't really that great of a weapon. So we'll go with... Uh, No, I probably want to go with that. And this we probably want to go in the third slot, right? Yeah, there we go. Okay. So we'll go with this as the because the, you know I do a decent amount of melee, and then when I really want to do a lot of damage, I could pull out the Magnum. And that's that's fine. Not great, but it'll it'll do. It'll do in a pinch. And here we go. All right. So we did see that other spot. Um, now we do have a couple of places in Concord now, but I don't think we can open the one lock yet. Let's take a look at the perk chart. Yeah, we still, we can't pick the master locks yet. So it doesn't make sense to do that until we come back. So we'll, we'll wait a little bit on that. Slip through Concord real quick here. There's nothing in that trash can, right? We already grabbed that? Yes, we did. Good. So I think we spent the better part of the day in Sanctuary just cleaning up. Yeah, it's like 4 o'clock. We basically spent the entire day just in Sanctuary scrapping shit. So we're, we're not really being very um, time efficient here, but... Oh, did we get him already? No, oh, we already got him. Cool. Could probably use the caps. We certainly can, Piper. We certainly can. I mean, I could go in there and pick one lock, but I'm not really thrilled with that idea. All right. You know what? Since we're already here, let's just check out the church and see if there's anything in here that's actually valuable. I don't think there is. But let's look anyway. Boxes. It's been a while since I've been up here. Oh, pipe rifle. All right. Well, we'll take them all. Okay. Desk fan. Sure. Oh, look at that. Safe. Okay. So this was worth it. Just for Piper to like it. That's it. Perfect. I like that. Of course she did. Now we can put the pipe pistol right back where it was. <laughs> I'm not... Not bothering. You alright there, Piper? Hey, you okay? She must have fell. Oh, she probably fell through there. Oh, I see where she fell. No, you should be able to walk across that. Oh, whatever. She's okay. She's okay. <laughs> Companions always hurting themselves. Okay, so we had scouted this out, the, uh, the Starlight Drive-In, as we were going to Concord, or Lexington, rather, looking for Preston's friends and dealing with Jared? I think that was the, um, I think that was the uh, raider's name. I think that was Jared at Corvega. And so when we were on our way there, we saw the Starlight Drive-In and we're like, that would be a good place for a base and uh, like a merchant, like a little uh, market square thing type thing. So we're going to duplicate a market and our own headquarters. And this is going to be Rad stag. Let's just keep going. Come on. Just leave the mutated deer alone. Alright, let's take a look here. And one thing I do like to do with a sniper weapon look around. See what's kind of just recon the area. So we're operating under the uh, under the assumption that Violet here, unlike us, does not know the area. Alright, so we've got a movie theater or a movie projector room. Everything looks empty. It's a mannequin. <laughs> Radioactive barrels. So that's going to be hazard to avoid. 
Everything looks clear. But we're still going to proceed as if it's not. We clear it first. And then we start building. And fortunately, the Starlight Drive-In has a pretty good amount of just junk that we can make use of. Oh, a Minuteman's over there. Cool. Ah, shit. Industrious little bull rat. <laughs> and Vats found it before we even... And as soon as it... There it is. Ah. Oh. Damn it. Ah. Fuck. Shit. Good job, dog meat. Okay, so that was bad. Where's the other one? <laughs> it popped up just a tunnel right back down. Takes care of that. Yeah, same I did fine, but oh, yeah, right. You, we, we already read that one. <laughs> okay. uh, actually, yeah, let's just grab everything off these. <laughs> oh, but there'll be more. But yeah, these are skeletons I'm, I'm talking about because you can't grab them. You can't grab them. Now, sometimes if you're industrious, you can try to push them. And you might be able to push them out of the cell. But uh, it takes a while. It takes a really long time. I need to find the mod that lets me just scrap those. They're super annoying. I'll take the jet. I'll take Medex and Psycho. Good. So now we know this place is crawling with mole rats. Oh, I just missed it. Kill shot! <laughs> That's one of the cool things about um, dealing with uh, bats. If you see the kill cam, you know your shot hit. <laughs> Which is, in my opinion, super cool. Alright, so that will take. Yes, that will take. We'll event. You know what? Fine. Fuck it. We'll just grab all that shit. Uh, yes, we are going to pick this lock because Piper likes it when we pick locks. Boom, boom, boom. A little bit more. Yeah, in previous playthroughs, I had uh, mods that make uh, picking locks easier. Got it. Just because I... When you play the game enough, you know, you know how that works. Ah, oh, it still managed to get me. Little bastard. That's such bullshit. That's such bullshit. But I will take that ammunition. You... Wait. Right now. <sighs> really? Fine. Sure. We'll just, we'll just scrap it later. Oh, cool. I leveled up from that. Sweet. Mm -hmm. Grab you. Grab that. Yep. We need all these. We need all of the scrap. May look like junk, but we'll be able to salvage all of this and make better stuff. Well, definitely taking that desk fan. Perfect. Moving on. Probably something in here. Ah, yeah, empty bed bottle. Yeah, give me the toy car too. We'll take the rat poison. We'll take the Nuka Cola. That shit can stay in there. For now, once we have uh, the workshop unlocked, then we'll come back to that. We'll go up here, grab anything of use up here. Perfect. You, Jolene, we'll drop this off because we're going to scrap that in a minute. But we're not coming up back up here for it. Fuck that shit. <laughs> Screw that noise. Yeah, we're taking the lantern. Oil. We need oil. 
we rarely will come up here, so I usually just take whatever's up here. Yeah, I'll take the laundry room box. Sure. And if we couldn't pick the lock, there's the uh, foot locker with, with the key. There we go. Man, it's pretty cool that we can climb to that billboard. It's fairly high. Let's scout out the rest of this, see if there are any other mole rats. Worry about? Probably are. Maybe we got all the mole rats, actually. Heads okay. up. No, you stay. Wait there. Okay. Heads you. up. I'm on a Kevin. Hold position. Okay, I'll be here then. Okay. The reason why I'm telling them, <laughs> I needed to do that first before advancing, because uh, dog meat was starting to get a little close, so I wanted to. Hurry up and tell them to just stay put. This door is trapped. If I open this door, an explosive will uh, detonate and we'll all die. <laughs> and I saw Dogmeat getting dangerously close to just opening that fucking door on his own. Some. So yeah, we're not uh, we're not doing that. We're not letting him do that. Oh, I grabbed the shed key. I wanted to pick this lock. Damn it. Ugh. Damn it, Seraph. I should have picked that lock instead. Oh, well, you know what? I wonder if I could give her the key. Look alive. Take a look. Can I give her the key? I'd much rather give her the key. I don't think I can give her that key. Yeah, I can't give her the key. Damn. Nope, can't give her the key. I should have left it in there so I could have picked the lock. That's not a deal. It's just the principle of the thing. Could have, if I just remembered not to do that. And we'll grab that. And we'll grab that. Okay. You'll got, you guys will see this in a second. Uh, actually, we'll grab the lantern. Well, we already know how this ended. We'll take the ammunition. Uh, sure, we'll take the military fatigues. Take everything that's useful. And we'll take the extinguisher. And now we'll disarm this makeshift bomb. And the tension trigger. Okay. Now we can open that door, and it's not a problem. Is there anything actually of use in here? I don't think so. Yeah, we'll just take all this stuff. Is there a safe here? I thought there was a safe. Where's the safe upstairs? Or am I thinking of a different place? I might be thinking of a different place. I might be thinking of a different place. Not a big deal. Okay. Now we can open that door. It's all fine. Look alive. Come on. Perfect. Now you guys can come with me. Shoot. Moving out. That's a plan. Good deal. Okay. Now that you guys aren't gonna kill me. <laughs> So that would be super lame. Okay, I think we've got everything here now. Okay. Yep. Okay, now we begin the lovely slow process of breaking all this stuff down. All right, should we clear here now? Yep, and we're clear. All right. So this stuff I think we'll keep here. Well, we'll take the pipe wrench. We'll take the bag of cement and the duct tape. But everything else in here, we'll leave in here. The interest of having it be uh oh that's what i need to do too i need to get a mod that will take care of the settlement size although um there are ways around the settlement size even without a mod it just makes my life easier when building to not have to worry about the stupid build limit so that car i'm gonna leave there because if we scrap it then this looks really out of place um for why it doesn't just fall and it only generates 10 steel. So it's really, you know, maybe I'll try that one. Yeah, fuck it. It's fine. Yeah, it's fine. I'd rather have 20 steel at this point. Okay. Scrap, scrap, scrap. Scrap everything. We scrap everything. Boom. Yep. Grab these. So we get some really valuable stuff out of that. Here. 
We're going to leave these here just because this helps for settlement defenses to funnel things through. Um, unfortunately, the way the settlement system or the, uh, the attack system works in this, things can spawn in somewhere, but just the same. We may as well just leave these here. Again, we're not, we'd only get two steel out of it. I'd rather have it um, actually help funnel enemies through for a little bit of tower defense. We'll scrap that. Those lampposts generate a lot of material. Speakers really aren't all that useful, but we need, we just need to clear it for the space. Stupid bodies. I hate these bodies here. that okay how much radiation do we just pick up okay let's not die because <laughs> it's super lame to be able to die in the sediment system oh i see what happened i got too close to these barrels i didn't see them come on come on mannequin we can scrap so i'm just hitting uh the scrap button and then the confirm really fast on the keyboard to just make this go faster i think we got all the radioactive barrels yep we got the radioactive barrels so now this water source is no longer radioactive we can actually drink out of that although even um come on thank you i mean even um really radioactive uh, sources, the water purifiers, it removes the radiation from the water. Pretty cool. Oh, and dog food. Scrap that. Scrap that. Okay, this fence on the other hand is fucking useless. Just in the way. Scrap this. And part of that build limit, every time you either scrap something or store something, the size limit goes down. So that also counts if you drop something and then scrap it or drop it or what have you. So if you have, uh, say, a weapon on you and you drop it and then you immediately store it, you can... Um, you can artificially lower that size limit. And that's what I did on PlayStation to build some of my crazy, crazy settlements um, for my pl uh, on PlayStation when I played this on that. Because that was what I actually got this for first. And then kind of went from there. All right, so I think we've... Nope. I thought, I thought they were kind of done for. Oh. We got... Uh, Travis. Right behind you, baby. <laughs> Poor Travis. That guy is a uh, character. Can you imagine a real DJ being like that? Yeah, let's see. That looks like something we can scrap. Perfect. Grab that. Go inside. I don't think there's. We'll we'll leave the shelves there. That's good for design. That will scrap. That we don't need. That's just junk. Same with you. We like the rubber. That doesn't need to be here. Is there anything in here that we should scrap? Yes, that will scrap it. That will scrap it. Rarely come up here. I always forget about that room after, um, after clearing the location. So at this point, it's like, all right, yeah, that's perfect. Okay. Let's quick save. And now we begin the wonderful process of setting up a uh, radio beacon here. So I think the best way to do this is just set up. Let's do this. What I'd like to do is get a beacon as high as possible. We're going to use these anyway. like to do is get this up as high as possible mm -hmm. oh good we can build a radio beacon marvelous all right that looks awesome okay cool nice and high okay now all i need to do figure out 
Uh, so I think we're going to run into the problem of being able to power the thing. We're getting there. Okay, so generator small. Ooh, we could build a medium generator. Excellent. Okay, so what we'll do is we'll put a couple of generators over here. I think that's a good spot for it. Do this. We're going to want power here. We're going to need power. We need a large pylon, and we're going to need it like around here. That'd be good. Okay. Yeah, I can't get it to go that far. So you just have to get closer. There. That'll do. Get you over here. Marvelous. Okay. Now. Seraph connect that. Do that. I don't know if I can. But we're gonna find out. Wood. Okay. <clears throat> Let's try this again. This time without the oops. Hey buddy. Come on. Really? Mmm. we find out. Ah, it's too far. That sucks. Okay. So let's try. Hmm. What can we build instead? What are we going to be building a lot of here? We are going to be building a lot of concrete here. So let's build a concrete floor. I'm going to definitely need these. Yeah. We'll need these. We'll need them. That's fine. Uh, all right. Let's see. Actually, that works. <sighs> make this work. Let's see if I can make this work. Power conduit. Right. Well, we do need power conduits anyway. That should give us a new lease on that. Let's see. Can I get that? Get that. Yes. There we go. And just like that, we've got our radio beacon up high and powered. Now, I didn't have to get it up high and powered all that. And obviously, the game will let you build some very interesting uh, structures that are not bound to the laws of physics. Like, that should have collapsed on itself, right? But, just like that, we now have a radio beacon, and what the radio beacon does is it will attract any kind of settlers that might be looking for a safe place to be, and they'll now come here. So that is excellent. So now we're going to go over here. We're going to dump everything we can into this workshop. Hmm. Got a coffee cup. Better day. He's having it. Let's also uh, cure my radio. Rads. That. Okay. And now it begins. So let's cruise over to Trudy and uh, let's buy pretty much whatever we can because we're going to need a lot of supplies. And our first few settlers that show up here, what we're going to do is the first settler that shows up, we're going to make absolutely. Oh, what the fuck is that? Well, this is awesome. Okay, so this is not the vanilla game, but this is a. <clears throat> Hello, ma'am. Fuck yeah, a Minuteman uh outpost. This is awesome. Oh, cool, and we could sleep here. That is sweet. That is fucking sweet. <laughs> There's actually shit in here. General. Okay, that's cool as fuck, man. That is fucking cool as fuck. And if we needed a laser musket, we've got one. Okay. And a hot plate and all that. You know what? I'm going to leave all that shit for them because they're going to need that. But, uh, okay. That is, that is fucking cool. That is very, very fucking cool. Okay. Take the carrot flower and all that. Let's see. Um... Some of these, you can actually... A lot of the things over here are marked as owned and you can't take them. 
But then others, like this, we could just grab. We kind of just go through and see what we can grab. Okay, that we can't. <laughs> These we can. Cool. We'll take that. We will take that. We need as much. At this point, junk is good. We like junk. We can repurpose junk. Excuse me. Shop's open. What do you want? Not now. <sighs> Not what I wanted. If you're here to trade, let's trade. <laughs> Let's fucking Piper running on the outside there. <laughs> so she also has a really cool um, item called General Chow's Revenge. In my opinion, it's not really useful. Um, one thing, you, you don't want to be hitting a robot with a sword. It's just, that's not a good time. Uh, oh, right, we leveled up. We need to take a look at that. Okay, so she's got shipments of concrete. We probably are going to need that. Let's see. Um, let's see what we can even do. 38 rounds. Let's do the shotgun rounds. We're not going to need those. I do want to keep these for the most part if I can. I don't need 45 rounds at this point. So a lot of times ammo turns into money. And so, yes, this is good. Okay, so, so far we've got 357, right, that we can use. Uh, let's, yeah, let's go with that. Okay, so we've got 700 caps to work with here. I don't think we want to do that because we just can't afford the concrete. I mean, we can, but we don't need that much of it. I'd rather just take, at this point, things that we're going to need. Uh, cork, biometric scanners. Yep, give me microscopes. Gold, oh no, not a gold watch. That's too, that's too expensive. Uh, silver pocket watch is fine. Uh, we'll take lantern, makeshift battery because we'll take lead, acid. Handcuffs are awesome. Let's see, steel, nope, we're not going to be able to afford that. Uh, toy truck, yep, we'll take screws. We'll take asbestos. Yep, give me screws and steel. Plastic antiseptic, sure. Yep, we'll take leather. And we'll take glass. We'll take a bag of cement. We'll take two hot plates, a telephone. Good, 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 good. This is good shit. So normally this would be hard to, um, hard to carry, but we don't exactly have to go very far. Duct tape, uh, Fertilizer, I don't think we need to do, deal with that. Uh, the aluminum canister we'll take because we do want to have aluminum. This is going to work out pretty well. The gold watch we can't afford to take. I mean, we can, but we're going to lose out on pretty much everything we were just doing there. Uh, yeah, we'll take the kickball. That's three rubber. All right, we're going to make money off this. Let's do this. Okay, confirm that trade. Hell yes. Okay, back out this way we go. Thanks for helping us out with truth. And a problem, Wolfgang. <laughs> you are welcome, buddy. Oh, we got a dumpster over here. That probably has some more shit in it. Yes, it does. We'll take that baseball base. Thought I saw. Oh, that's dog meat shadow. Now, by the time we go over here, some of our settlers should have shown up, and we can now give them uh, a job. <clears throat> and the first job we're going to give them. Cool, and the Minutemen are doing patrols. Good, 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 good. That's what I want. I don't see any of our settlers yet. But maybe what I'll do is I'll just go, I'll take a nap, and we'll wait for them to show up in the morning. That might be the way to go here. All right, so let's store all that. We're also going to put all that roll mat, roll, uh, mole rat meat in there. Yep, dirty water. That'll do. Sure, we'll put the Nocola in there. We will have a purpose for that later. Okay, looks good. All right, level up. We might actually... Shit, I might actually level up Charisma here. Yeah, we can't level up Black Widow. We can't level up Blacksmith. Uh, we could level up Gun Nut, but we've been missing a lot on our Charisma checks. So let's raise Charisma because that's essential to our build. And missing Charisma checks on a build that's predicated around that is bullshit. So let's not do any of that anymore. Yeah, let's uh, let's sleep. Yeah, we'll sleep till six in the morning. That's fine. That works. Perfect. And by now we'll have a couple of settlers. Plus, we need to be well rested anyway. 
So when you're well rested, you get more XP. That's sort of the objective there. Hey, okay, where are my settlers? Do I not have settlers yet? Yep, we do have settlers. They just haven't shown up yet. Ah, there we are. Perfect. All right. Got our first settler. Hey. Hey, I just wanted to introduce myself. Anyway, I just wanted to say thanks for the opportunity. Any place you want me to pitch in? I want to trade a few things. Sure thing. I don't think we need to really mess with him a whole lot. Uh, I mean, we could take his stuff, but that's not really all that important. What we do need to do, however... All right. Now, supply line, and we're going to send him to Sanctuary. And once we connect him to Sanctuary... <coughs> pardon me, sorry. Once we connect him to Sanctuary, we'll have access to the workbench there. And we can start building... Um, we can actually share materials such as vegetables, crops, things of that nature. And so, yeah, we're going to do that because that's our main, at the moment, our main, um, our main other location. Perfect. That's now all shared. So now, now we can, we can really work here. Okay. So resources, food, we could build a little carrot, oh, only two corn, moot fruit. Ugh. Wow. Only these. That's all we've got? Seriously? Is that seriously all we've got? Okay. Trudy. Maybe Trudy has food for sale. We may actually have to actually legitimately spend money. Hopefully Trudy's got something for sale. What I'd like to do is either stick to either moot fruit or how do you establish supply line again? Okay, so I'll 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 go in there and uh, and do that. Hopefully assuming you assuming you're asking because you you missed it. <laughs> Um, ooh, look at that. More shit. Cool. Yes, give me that stuff. Uh, once I go back to the settlement, I'll show you. It's, uh, it's pretty straightforward. Because we're going to want to do that for the second person who shows up, too. Yeah, I can't grab those. Uh, but I do want to establish a farm there. Hey there. I got a store to run. And unfortunately, there's a very specific order that settlers will always eat food at. Which is kind of frustrating. I'll take a look. Sure, it's all worth um, every And what I time. want to be able to do is make vegetable starch. So there's a there's kind of a reason why I will want to arrange things the way. Oh, fuck. All right. Well, we'll take corn then. We'll take corn. We'll take corn. Um. Yeah, we'll take corn. It'll be fine. Uh, no, no, no. I want I want that trade. Um. Sure. Yeah, I try to keep bottle caps because I need, I will need those bottle caps later. So I try to keep as many bottle caps as I possibly can. I have the peak active, but doesn't just automatically connect. I have the peak active. Sorry, Ghosty, I'm slightly confused. Um... Oh, you have the perk active. Okay, yeah, no, it doesn't automatically uh, do it. You have to assign them. Uh, it's not it's not terribly uh, complicated, but it is, it's a little unintuitive how it sets it up. Oh, and there's our other settler, good, and they're going to come over here in a second. But we're going to have both people here be, um, be settlers. <laughs> I wonder why that's interesting, isn't it? All right, but I'm going to try and do all corn here. There we go. Perfect. Perfect. Okay. So I'm actually going to assign this settler to be a provisioner also. And so we're going to go into the build menu. Gonna hover right over them. And right now they're unassigned. So we're going to hit Q for supply line. At least Q on PC. Um, it'll say underneath what the button actually is if you're on PlayStation or Xbox. And then it'll say send settler to it. You're not actually sending the settler, uh, but we're going to connect them to Abernathy farm because then we'll have access to the Tato farm at Abernathy, which is incredibly uh, useful. So, yep, we're going to send you to Abernathy farm. And now they are assigned to Abernathy farm. And I'll show you what that looks like. So now we go into the menu and we can even, and for again, PC, it's C is show supply lines. And so now we've got two supply lines. We've uh, got at the Starlight Drive-In, we've got at the Sanctuary, 
And now we've got it to Abernathy Farm. And what I'll want to do is connect Ten Pines Bluff to the supply line. And anything in this chain now, if I send us a provisioner to any one of these three, all of those workshops will be intertwined and they'll be able to share resources. It's, uh, it's pretty cool shit. So at this point, now, all of our workbenches can share. And I can go in here. And even though I couldn't build turret, well, probably couldn't build all that many turrets before, but now I can build 30. <laughs> uh, so we're we're in good shape now. So I will build... Uh, maybe? There we go. Come on, buddy. Yeah, man. There we go. Come on. Oh. Okay. God help anything stupid enough to approach uh, this settlement from this side. <laughs> There's just going to be a hail of gunfire that will uh, that will meet them. And now our defense is 30, so we don't have to worry about that. Now, even though we planted crops, our food is zero because we don't have anybody actually at those crops maintaining them. So if we once we assign somebody to farm those, they'll be able to go in there and uh, we'll be able to get corn from them in all due time. But in the meantime, let's go into resources. We'll go into water and now we can go into water purifier. And boom. We'll have ourselves a nice water purifier need to do is connect that to our power here now we can now we can build a lot more of these we're gonna connect this and during one of the original versions of the game uh <laughs> each one of these power lines required copper which sucked a lot <laughs> that that was terrible uh <laughs> yeah that's not gonna reach <clears> hmm <throat> there connect that now you can just connect as many wires as you want much better yeah i don't think that's gonna reach either fine let's just store the wire that's also why it gives you the option to store the wire because before it used to require copper okay, okay. that's pretty far good okay there we go. Okay. Now the settlement is 10 water. Excellent. Okay. So our main headquarters has water, defense. We just got to put in some beds. We'll do that now. And then we'll get to building our... Uh, then we'll get to building our headquarters. And then by now, we could probably clear out... Thicket excavations? Took me a second to remember. I'm like, is it thicket excavations? Yeah, I think it's... And it is... It is. It's thick at excavations. Because by now, raiders should have moved in. Okay, now we're going to scrap all this. We need space. We need the space. Piper, why? Okay. It's like, why does she have that? 308 rounds. Oh, we'll take that. What was that? Mm hmm. -hmm. Or those. I don't think there was anything else over here. Looked like there was for a second, but there's not. Okay. And right now the happiness is going down because we don't have enough beds for everybody. So that's one one thing they're cranky about. <laughs> one thing they're cranky about. Uh, Piper, if you would be so kind as to move, that would be lovely. Thank you. We'll put this bed right there. Perfect. Put that bed. Uh, I guess. Put this one right here. Good. Okay. So we'll use the pre existing structure for five beds. That will help out with that. Happiness is still on the downside. That sucks. Um, we'll keep this room as is because this could be like a little rec room. I mean, it's already here, so we may as well let them keep it, right? <laughs> so I do want to scrap that. I'll rather have the concrete. Perfect. Okay. We don't have anything in here. Okay. Okay, so once the third settler shows up, 
and they will. So one of the things also, um, you'll continue to get settlers as long as everybody is employed. So if you got a bunch of settlers that are not employed, like you got three unemployed settlers, nobody's going to keep this. The, the settlement won't grow anymore. So you do need to have them doing something. So at this point, we've got 100% employment, which means whenever somebody gets this radio beacon, they'll show up looking for a job. And we're going to make sure that they do corn. Let's save. And all right, let's see. Uh, all right. Hey, Ghosty, what do you think? Where should we put our headquarters? Because we need a headquarters to store uh, intelligence reports, anything on kidnappings, things of that nature. We also need like our own little office if we're going to be a general. Uh, I think it's too early to go to the castle and really use that as a proper headquarters. So we just we're looking for something temporary. Last time I did this on my previous playthrough, I built it here. And I'm kind of thinking we'll do the same thing, but I am certainly open to suggestions. You have an idea. You have probably have a pretty good idea what I already have in mind for that, since you're already on here, unless you stepped away for a second. Uh, ooh, I should correct that chair. Oh, nope, I can only scrap that chair. Boo! Uh, yeah, let's just build it over here. I usually do a complicated upstairs above the center part. Uh, oh, um, complicated upstairs, uh, complicated upstairs above the center part. Are you talking about the, um, are you talking about the projector, the projector tower or the projector screen? You're probably talking about renovating that office up there, the projector room, right? Yeah. Around, around the projector tower. Yeah. I'm thinking right next to this because the power is already here. Yeah, power is already here. Um, and what we'll do is we'll do a primitive metal structure. Let's go with uh, floors. And one good best practice for uh, a lot of buildings is to put a shack foundation with this concrete one. Because then you can build yourself a nice flat surface to work off of. Though I may... Hmm. Let's see. Do I want to connect it to this? I use the side doorway as a walkway into the whole upstairs built area. Oh, I see what you're talking about. So you're talking about... Um, like you build up here. So it leads in here. That's an interesting idea. Essentially, you're talking about expanding this. Oh, uh... Yeah. Yeah. All right, yeah, we could we could just do that. We could just repurpose this. Could do that. We could do that, especially since we already have power running to this building. We could do that. We're eventually going to use that. You know what? Let's do that. Let's try that. I've never tried that. That'll be fun. We'll do something new. We're still going to use these. Those are not going to go to waste. Let's try that. Since we already have this pre-existing structure, let's see what we can do with this. All right. So we got all, and plus then it makes it leave a little more sense that we've got all these. <laughs> so we'll put this over there. All right. That's fine there, I got it. And this bed. Cool. It's just far enough away from those turrets. Excellent. Maybe we can even move this one over a little bit further. But I think I like this. And then if something does show up over here, it can get shot at by this. All right. So we're looking at something like. All right. So let's see, Seraph. What am I doing? Am I going to expand it more over to this way? More over this way and behind? Or over this way? Hmm. Actually, over and behind is probably better because this ends up being a better kind of uh, like um, Times Square. I lay groundwork on top of the awning and go from there. Yeah, let's uh, let's see. Let's make this work, right? Let's make this work. All right, so we could go with wood floors. Just like that. That's what Ghosty's talking about. We just build floors up here and start working. Uh, let's see. Metal. Roofs. Walls. 
and then prefabs. Okay, so we're stuck with either using warehouse floors. We might want to stick to warehouse floors here. Something like that. Maybe. Something like this, probably. Yeah. Let's go with that. Perfect. Not even clipped through a little bit. All right. Uh, all right. So this, you're going to go over here. <laughs> hmm. Yeah. That'll do. Okay. And then, whoops. Okay. So. Hmm. Okay, so for right now, that's fine. <laughs> that's fine for right now. That's obviously not going to be sustainable long term okay so that's a good start and then that leads us over here all right let's take a look let's see what that looks like does that look like it's well connected hmm does that look like it's well connected yeah we can even do we could do one more over this way yeah let's go you know what? Let's go one more over this way, and then we'll tunnel it down. And that way, essentially, you got two options. You can go this way, or you can go this way and enter this structure. Okay, yeah, let's let's go with this. Let's go see how this works. Let's go see how this is gonna work. This could be this could be neat. There, that way. Marvelous. One of the cool parts about the warehouse floors here is even if this does not clip uh build in there like it's not doing it's being uncooperative <laughs> uh shit okay so that could be a problem because now we've built this infrastructure over here but i kind of like this but anyway um but we can do that we're using that size perfect so even it might not be perfectly uniform but it works but it works and that might be as far over as it goes it's any further over this gets too slanted this is still going to be okay all right so now do i build metal how many well metal walls do we got let's see let's this might help determine what we're doing all right so we got 136 metal walls uh I just like my turrets and people of ground levels uh, is why I do these upper floor builds. I'm going to assume that meant uh, like my turrets and people off ground level. So doing more of like an upper level build. Yeah, no, that works. It gives them higher ground advantages for shooting sometimes. Absolutely. And high ground definitely helps. High ground fucking helps. So we got concrete. We don't have a lot of concrete walls. So let's not do concrete right now. Uh, warehouse... And we got 170 for the warehouse walls. So, um, I'm thinking metal here. I'm thinking metal. What do you think, Ghosty? Metal works? I'm thinking metal will work because it'll fit right in with this uh, with this whole structure here. Let's see. We're going to go with this. Assuming I go with that. Let's see. What's better? That's, let's see. I'm thinking this one, even though it's got a few patch holes in it. Yeah. All right, we'll do this. Actually, let's save before I waste a lot of materials. <laughs> um, here's also what I'm thinking. Here's also what I'm thinking. Once this is all said and done. We'll do that. Mix it up. And then what we should be able to do. Here's what we should be able to do. Should be able. Okay, it's not going to let me do that. It's not going to let me do that. Oh, shit, it's not going to let me do that. Okay. Not gonna let me do that yet. <laughs> so I'm gonna be building a bunch of other warehouse uh, structures in here. So I'm I'm just matching this 
to this. But you're right. Uh, I do like warehouse uh, built uh, structures. Absolutely, they're pretty awesome. Um, but I think I've got to. I think I know what I'm doing here. I think I know what I'm doing. Okay. So here's what. Here's, here's how this is going to go. Uh, let's do that. Let's uh, warehouse. No, we need to do. No structures. No wood floors. Okay. Do 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 do. Perfect. Okay. So one of the neat things is if when you when you build this stair thing, you can get structures that weren't very cooperative with uh, snapping to snap to it. Of course, it didn't snap properly, did it? Yeah, we've got a gap. Fuck. Uh, all right. That's going to be a problem. That's going to be a problem. Okay. You know what? It's not the end of the world. It's not the end of the world. I'll tell you why. I'll tell you what's not the end of the world. I'm going to do those. All right. So now, go over to structures. So that's the only problem with the metal not snapping properly to the, um, to the warehouse builds. The warehouse pieces snap together a lot easier. Yeah, sometimes got to fool the system. So one of the issues with the metal ones is it's accepting it's it's, it's expecting a slightly different one. So we got to go to floors and we got to go to shack upper floor. And that seals the gap. So that's okay. We'll just do shack upper floor. And in the event that we can't make that work with the um, warehouse pieces, that's not the end of the world because um and we'll do the, we'll do one more over here and we'll just kind of make it work. Uh, but yeah, you got to fool the system sometimes. <laughs> we got to fool the system sometimes. That's that's all it, that's all that's going on here. Okay. So but yeah, I think we're going to need this one because I don't think this is going to clip through. Oh, it did clip through. Cool. All right. Well, it's nice it was nice of it to clip through for us. Okay. Good. Good, good. Good, good, good. Are they going to are they all going to do that? all gonna do that good okay looks like they all are, are all gonna do that so that's okay that's okay we'll we'll do as many of these as we can um yeah that's not gonna snap that's okay <clears throat> warehouse floor okay this one has to be this way oh uh, all right well we'll go back upstairs and we'll see what what's doing with that well, you'll see how I'm going to do this in a second. All right. So, yeah. All right. Yeah, the shack upper floor is not going to come through here. But it will do that. So, you know what? That's okay. This one will just look a little different. And that'll look a little different. Not the end of the world. Um, it would be really nice if the shack upper floor would behave itself. But it looks like it's not going to. Really be nice if it would snap to that. It's not going to be. Not a big deal. Not a big deal. Okay. We can make this work. We can make this work. And I'll sh and we'll, 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 there are a couple of, this ends up being useful because uh, there are certainly a lot of tricks that you can employ to make these things, types, types of things work. But either way, we've got our upstairs here now. Let's finish off this metal. We now have a very big, uh, <laughs> We have a very big headquarters. This is kind of bigger than I was expecting or than I was planning on, but that's okay. That's okay. We can still make this work. So now I just have to decide whether or not to make this multiple stories or just have this be the, um, Hmm. You know what? You know what we could do? All right, let's do the first floor now first. Now we'll do the first floor. Uh, but here's the idea here. Structures. Wood. Floors. So now we go over to this. And that will snap to it. And we'll have our floor underneath all of this. So match it. 
Okay. That's going to be the only issue here. Make this all match. <laughs> oh, that's not going to snap. Come on. Thank you. Okay, let's just make it all... Come on, game. Don't do that to me. Thank you. Okay, we got that. All right. Let's see how much of this we can do. Get that to snap. Can't get that to snap. That's okay. That's okay. Okay. So now, back to metal. Walls. Back. Booyah. Just like that. Granted, we kind of went through it from a, a weird direction, but as Ghosty said, sometimes you gotta have to fool the system. And so now, what we'll be able to do, wood stairs. Hmm. Doesn't want to do that. Okay, fine. We'll make that. We'll make that. Uh, well, all right, fine. We'll do that. We already built the damn thing. It's a little frustrating that it won't build that one. But yeah, it's not like in the concrete there. But uh, this will lead us directly in. And here's our structure. So one more metal wall here. We'll put it right here. Excellent. Actually, that being the case, we'll just remove that stair. Perfect. And then this is literally like a... Well, actually, we could put a doorway in here. We could put an actual doorway. Yeah, all right. Since we're actually trying to do this properly, let's do an actual doorway. <laughs> yeah, fine. <laughs> let's do it the proper way. Just like so. Okay. Now that is very unlikely to let us build a wall there. Um, that... That sucks. That sucks. But I still think this is going to be okay. I still think this is okay. That's okay. We'll do these just to help pathing issues. Okay. Warehouse, floors. Yep. Same thing. Not do that. <laughs> That's okay. It just kind of goes through here. That could be a storage area. All right. But just like that, we now have at least a decent. Damn. It's a shame about this, though. Be nice if we could have built that. But yeah, I didn't, I didn't think there was any way in hell we could get that to clip through. The game's not going to let us build that. You know what? All things considered, though. That's not a bad first floor. And you can't get to the second floor from this floor. That's kind of the point. But it'll give us at least a... We can put something down there. And then this will be our main deal. Now the question is, do I make this only a second floor or do I add a floor to this? I'm thinking this is probably sufficient. So let's put a roof on here. I guess the only question is... Here's our issue. <laughs> Here's gonna be our issue. Getting it to really kind of fit. That's, that's not gonna fit entirely. Like a glove. It's just not gonna... Not gonna fit perfectly. You know what? Maybe I should just remove this and just let this be a corridor. Hmm. 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 Yeah, let's do that. Yeah, let's do that. Damn. It would have been nice if it had been a little bit 
kinder to us, but this is fine. Well, that being the case... Oh, come on. Really? You're not gonna look for that? Really? Why? Seriously? That is not gonna clip to that spot. Or are you kidding me? Why? That's so bizarre. Okay. Hmm. Maybe it's telling me I shouldn't be building over here. <laughs> that is so bizarre. Yeah, it will not let me build that metal bar there. That's just peculiar as all hell. I mean, unless I just say fuck it and keep that and just have this around here. Oh, that's fine. Fuck it. Just keep that around there. We'll keep these floors. Gotta love when you have to fight the settlement system. Of course, it's my fault. What I probably should have done was started over here and done it. Because we're also working around this. Um, but yeah, now I don't know. Do I put an extra third? Do I put an extra floor maybe up here or something? Um, good question. Good question. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> we'll at least do one of these. Yeah, this little round thing. But that's okay. I just wanted to look like it's somewhat structurally uh, sound here. Hmm. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, I don't know. I'd rather... Would rather just be able to walk over here, be able to shoot things in case stuff shows up here. Hmm. Damn. Damn, damn, damn. This thing's being just real in the ass with this. Unless I, instead of the roof, I should have put in a floor up here. You know, it might do, it might do that because then it'd be further away, but I don't want to, I don't want to be building this like absolutely massive structure. I think this is fine. This'll, this'll be fine. It's an okay, it's okay. <laughs> Damn. Damn, damn, damn. Unless I tear the whole fucking thing down and start over and move it a little away so that it does build properly, maybe I should just do that. Maybe I should just do that. Fuck. That's what we're gonna do. <laughs> that is what we're gonna do. We're gonna fix this. We're gonna fix it. It's okay. That is alright. Not the end of the world. Because now that we've got the general plan, the rest of this will go fast. Because a lot of times when it comes to settlement building, a lot of it is coming up with the idea and seeing what possibly can work. Uh, so what we need... What we kind of got sabotaged by was this not clipping through. So what we need is... Wood. Floor. We need the upper shack floor. Shack upper floor to be able to go through here, over here. So that's what we need. Um, oh, shit. It's not going to do it. Let's go over here. Don't do me like that. Uh, all right. Warehouse. Floors. <sighs> Two of these, huh? Let's just offset it slightly. You're not going to build there? Come on, why? Why does this not want to build here? This is one of the uh, complications when you decide to uh, 
make use of, hey, freak bot, how are you? Make use of a pre-existing structure. Sometimes it doesn't uh, cooperate, um, unfortunately. So, yeah, uh, that's not great. That that sucks a lot, actually. Um, let's, let's just... You know what? Let's let's just get rid of all of that. All right. So let's let's try let's try something a little different. Okay, we got all of it. Yeah, no, it's it, it obviously wasn't. That obviously wasn't wasn't happening. Uh, but what we could do is we could try building it a little. God, I don't even know now. Um. So it seemed like such a good idea at the time, building it on top there. I just don't know why it wouldn't... I don't know why it won't put it here. That's so frustrating. Um, oh, it's gonna thunderstorm here. Yeah, the shack upper floor is what's fucking us here. But, um... You know what? It's this spot in general. It's this spot kind of in general that it does not want to let us build on. Um... Shit. Shit. Okay, so we just need to build further away from it. Fine. Warehouse. Floors. Okay, you know what? Maybe this will do it. Because it didn't want to do those full size things before. But maybe it'll do so now. Um, okay, we're a little further away now. Wood. How is the uh, rest of the uh, randomizer, Freakbot? Yeah, okay, this is going to be a problem. Let's see what we can do here. Move. Let's move that over a little bit. Okay, that's encouraging. Couldn't do that before. So that gives us slightly better options. Today on this old house, sometimes it needs a small space away. Yeah, or a slight height adjustment. We lost 30 minutes because we were short a key in Ganon's tower. We had to redo the whole fuck. Yeah, that's always super lame. All right, so shack upper floor. Yeah, I think we're I think we're going to be able to do it this time. I think we've got it this time. Okay. Yep. Okay. I think we're in better shape now. We got a little bit more space over on this side. We've got a lot of space over here. I don't think we built it any... Oh, no, we did. Okay. Okay. So we're also going to have to fool it again like we did before. This one. You. Okay. So let's do the same thing. Let's build our metal walls. We got this. We've got this. Up. Oh. I fought the stupid armor knights four times. Oh, God. Yeah, I ended up fighting those a couple of extra times. That wasn't... That was not super fun. All right, that's a cool clip because that makes it look like it's actually properly anchored and it'll be supportive of the structure. Sweet. Sweet. Yes. Okay, that's what we're talking about. Okay. Uh, that'll work. Perfect. Yep. Perfect. And eh. all right, let's just we'll scrap that. We'll scrap that. That's fine. <laughs> we'll just scrap this fence. It had been good, but it's no longer going to serve this particular purpose here. No, that's what I want. I want walls. I just went too far.
I think, no. I want, yes, because that'll fit this a little bit better. Yeah, now this doorway won't look so out of place. Same with that one. Okay, that'll do. And then uh, metal walls. Queen of Ma Maple Mysteries since I did Oh, yeah. How's she doing? Perfect. This will do. Okay. We've got this now. Okay. Perfect. 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 We got this. It took, a, took an extra attempt, but I think, I think we're in good shape here. We'll do that. Floors. What's the progress on her game anyway? She must be moving pretty along pretty well too. While I'm asking about it. <laughs> Perfect. Now we have a good building foundation for all this shit. And we got an ad coming in a second, but it's not so bad now. I uh, dramatically adjusted how long they play for. I didn't realize I could, uh, I could reduce it as much. So that's pretty cool. Uh, that was actually a really useful lesson. <laughs> all right. Good, good, good. Cool. This all looks like the same thing. Uh, let's now... Floors. Shack upper floor. Yep, that's the one we want. Perfect. Good. Okay. So now we go up here. Perfect. All right. Now we're back up here. Excellent. Okay. Okay. Shack upper floor. We want that to be over here for sure. Okay. Yeah, let's move you over here for just right now. <laughs> one thing at a time here. One thing at a time. All right. So that's this is looking good. This is looking fucking good now. Okay. Ends up being a little bigger than what we had, but it's not the end of the world. Mm -hmm. Oh shit. That's gonna be a problem. Whew. Damn it. Put it there. Thank you. Good. Thank you. It's all I fucking wanted. <laughs> After all that time, that's really all I wanted. Now we just have to figure out what are we doing with this shit? Yep, that's as far over as that's going. Uh, but that's okay. All right, now that the ad's over, uh, I think she's doing just potential cover art right now on stream anyways, nice. Mm-hmm. So we're in the process of uh, building our headquarters here, which is also why we're putting so much fucking uh, effort into it. Come on, buddy. Now, not gonna... Well, it doesn't snap, but... Ugly as fuck, but... It's good enough. <laughs> good enough for government work. <laughs> good enough for government work. All right. So that part's going to... It's unfortunate that that's going to be a little hole in the wall here, but this, this is adequate. All right. So now we'll just go back to our warehouse floor since we have so many of them. And uh, that's not necessary. We just walk over on it and that's fine. Maybe we'll do this just because it's right here. Maybe we'll do that just to make it kind of work, but yeah, why not? We'll do that, but this part I don't like. I wonder if there's a way I can make that better. I wonder if there's anything I could do for that. Groups. 
Really can't get that to link up better, huh? Damn, man. Damn, that would really... It'd be nice if I could get it to come over this way. I don't think I'm going to, though. I think I'm just going to have to eyeball this and come up with something that's at least close. Just call it a day. Damn. I should have let it be. I had something that was okay. You know what? That is good enough. You can't even really tell unless you're looking at it. That's okay. It's not the greatest welding job, but it will do. It will do. Okay, so now what we do, we're going to bring that out. Conduits. Conduits. Put that here. Mount that here. M. And now bring it just like so. Perfect. And now, just like that, we have a conduit in here. And now we can bring this over here. We'll just connect it. Probably the easiest way to do this. Uh, you know what? No. Instead of being unsightly. Instead of being unsightly. Here's how we're going to make this work. Here's how we're going to make this work. Structure. It'll suffice. <laughs> Since we've got a shit ton of these, him, we've got a shit ton of. Yo, build that. Thank you. Good grief. So now the easiest thing is just to build. <laughs> Please build additional pylons. We'll just build a pylon here. See how far we can get it over. No, not very much further. That's about it. Cool. All right. Well, fine. We'll do that over here. Well, that's probably going to get everything over there. Perfect. And now, because everything, for the most part, it doesn't do, it doesn't make you do individual wiring. It, um, Fortunately, the game does not make you do that. <laughs> Thank goodness the game does not make you do that. Um, let's see. Maybe we'll do one. Maybe we'll do one metal wall here just to make it look structural. Oh, not going to do that, is it? Not going to snap there. Not going to snap. Huh. Isn't that interesting? Not going to build this here? Okay, we didn't really need it. It just would have been nice to have, but fuck it. Whatever, I guess. All right. Well, now. Here's the key to all this. Okay. Hmm. All right. We've done this well. We should be able to put in a couple down here. There we go. Perfect. Marvelous. Cool. We just gained a level. All right. And we now have ourselves a headquarters. For Ghosty's suggestion, just repurposing the uh, theater and our radio beacons right at the very top of it. So this is this is pretty cool. This is pretty cool. Oh, that's why I couldn't build that wall there because that thing's this thing's in the way. Um, but that's okay. It looks like it's all just like an expansion of that. This is not bad, man. This is not too shabby. One thing we will do is I know sellers are going to get confused by this. So we'll just do that so they can path to it a little easier. And all right, so cool. We've got a storage area down here. Well, I don't know what we'll do with that. But yeah, people can uh, arrive at the settlement this way. 
and we can kind of process things, make sure that uh, people can't just come straight up to our second floor. And then this is actually our um, our headquarters. And then this could be my like my office over here. I mean, it sucks that it's a little exposed to the air, but I don't see any other way to kind of fix that. At least I don't think so. Oh, you know what? Let's do that. Yeah, perfect. That would be better. Okay, yeah, we're not going to be able to do bit with that. But you know what? We at least have this dividing wall, and that works. Yeah, I have a... I could just put my office right in here. Yeah, take, take some work. But yeah, no, this works, man. This is cool. I actually appreciate the suggestion. I mean, obviously, it took a little time, but it's nice to do something new for a change. This, this works, man. This works. All right, so... All right, so this will be my office, uh, and then this will be sort of like a general command center type of thing. Um, so first things first, this needs to, let's have a meeting room here. Let's, uh, furniture, let's go with tables. This is just kind of like a, like I said, this is like a chill stream. Yeah, we'll do a meeting room where we can coordinate shit. This can, uh, well... Maybe something like that. Yeah, something like that will do. There's. Yeah, this is this is perfect. Perfect. There we go. Cool. We got a meeting room. Uh, but most importantly, we need containers. Because what I'm kind of thinking here. Bio cabinets. We're going to need, like I said, intelligence reports. Anybody who's seen any kind of infant or uh, care of kidnapping, it's going to go over here um, eventually. Fine. Maybe. It's interesting how sometimes it likes to do it and sometimes it doesn't. A <laughs> uh, little frustrating sometimes. Okay, so one trick. Get rid of the walls. Because sometimes what it doesn't like is being close to the wall. Come on. Yeah, it's just being difficult over there, huh? It'd be nicer if they would cooperate a little more. But oh well. Alright. Now we can go back. Put our walls back. <laughs> now it will let us do it. It'll it, it's it's weird how the order of operations goes sometimes. Not really sure. Did I just build the wrong fucking wall? Yes I did. God damn it. That wall match. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fucking fine. All right. So good deal there. This is just the start, right? Um, let's put another couple of pieces of furniture here. Let's go with uh, go with a couple of tables. Maybe. I think something that might have gotten salvaged. Okay, that we're definitely going to want. That's going to be my desk. Uh, I'm thinking something along these lines. Maybe maybe around here or something. We'll do that. That. There we go. Perfect. All right. This will do. This will do. Okay. Furniture, chairs. Hmm. 
Excellent. Alright, perfect. Alright. Okay, and then some other workspaces. Let's see. Containers, shelves, tables. Maybe some other desks that got salvaged. something else fairly straightforward here yeah. eh it's fine chairs this will do this will do perfect there we go all right we got ourselves a headquarters ladies and gents not too shabby it took us a while but we did it uh am i missing anything that we might need i mean other than troops <laughs> and actual recruits i feel like i mean obviously it's just a starter headquarters but we got a place for all the intelligence reports to come in um maybe a cabinet for maps shit like that let's just go with let's just go with a normal container here yeah, something like that I'll do. This'll do. Just normal container. There we go. Alright. And one thing we could do. Alright, so one thing we can do, first and foremost, down here, is make this a little bit of a barracks. Yeah, this'll do. We don't have to go crazy with it, but. Excellent. All right. So we got ourselves a little barracks. Excellent. Okay. We're in good shape here. Hell, I could even put a bed up in here. And so I guess the question now is, do we want to do anything is that light running before? No, oh, that light works now, man. <laughs> yeah. This whole area is a little more illuminated. This area really doesn't work very well, but man, if we could. But at least now we've got a watchtower. So anybody, like, we could theoretically put a guard up there. And of course, all this. Okay, so now one thing we will do is we're going to put that up there. Put that. Hmm. Or put that. Did I put it in the right spot? No. That's okay. We'll put you right there. <laughs> and, uh... We'll put this one. Yeah, that doesn't need to be there. We'll move this over. And we'll put that right in the middle. We'll just put the turrets right on top of our structure. Now, what we could theoretically do is put, like, a window or something up in here. But I think I like the idea of, like, a true headquarters being truly defendable. Uh, but what we could do is put, like, a ladder or something so we could run onto the roof if we re ever really need to be able to defend this place. But I think being able to just come out here and shoot at stuff from, um, from range, or we go up here and snipe at stuff, I think that would be more than sufficient. All right. Oh, we have, we have a third person now. Perfect. Let's go assign them to uh, crops. And then we could start doing some quests. Now that we've done a shit ton of um, settlement building. Okay, let's take a look. We've built that. We've done that. Can't do locksmith any more than we already have. Could just boost agility a little bit. Mr. Sandman. Oh, we could start working on Mr. Sandman. So our silent... Well, we don't have any silenced weapons yet. Uh, we don't really have anything to work with ninja but we could start but I kind of like the idea of just getting charisma a little higher uh, well charisma should mean you know what yeah, let's just get charisma higher let's be done with it go over here see who's over here our settler yep there's our settler perfect again uh, oh, and they're already set. Yep, 
They're assigned to food already. They self-assigned themselves. Perfect. So we can cruise over here. Maybe in the time that we were working on that, they worked on these. Nope, they're still not ready to be harvested. But once they are, we can harvest some corn and we're going to be in great shape. Okay, let's uh, let's explore the area a little bit. Uh, where is Thicket Excavations? Thicket Excavations is up here. I wonder if it's drained yet. Let's go check it out. Let's go take a look. Let's go investigate. Come on, Piper. Let's level up your affinity a little bit more. Wow, look how nice and lit up that is. That looks badass. <laughs> All right, this is pretty cool. Okay, moving on. Yeah, that definitely took some work. <laughs> that definitely took some fucking work. Oh my goodness. Actually, got the rail. And you know what? Let's let's investigate thicket excavations first. We'll just go up the road. And hopefully thicket excavations is ready. We'll know if it's drained already. If it looks uh yeah, I appreciate it. It is fun to try different shit. I mean, what fun is it to just do the same thing over and over and over again? And honestly, not only is it better to be different, because it just gives you some variety on playthroughs, but... I don't see anybody yet. I see a turret up there now, and I didn't see a turret up there before. So I'm thinking... Yep! Raiders are here. Hey, they're here. <laughs> Let's reload that. Uh, I really like the design of that much better. That ends up being a much more functional headquarters than what I had before. I saw. Damn, missed it. Good. Well, Piper does that. <laughs> Why, thank you, Piper. Perfect. Oh, and that one has a hair trigger. Oh, but it's a pipe pistol. Fuck it. It's not worth it. It's not worth my time. Oh, take that for salvage. Good boy, dog meat. They're awesome. Okay. So now we have thicket excavations to clear out. Oops. Fell. here since they're distracted with Piper shit I thought I could run around this way shit So this is obviously interesting already, but that's one of the best things about having a companion, having them kind of draw the enemy fire. I mean, I could have just opened up this thing, but fuck that. We need XP. Hi, guys. Oh, you're legendary. Let's find out what we just got. And that's why we don't... That's why we don't let them out. <laughs> so we got our first legendary piece of equipment. Or sniping them before they could do anything. Yeah. Well, that's what I did with the one. I got a nice little headshot on the one that was uh, standing over this way. 
Uh, I'll show you again where he was standing, because we're going to need to loot him anyway. Oh, you're talking about Boone, who headshots things far away. It's like on it, and it's like, I don't even see it. <laughs> Enemy dead. <laughs> yeah, Boone from uh, Boone from New Vegas is fucking crazy. <laughs> Actually, I think this is the guy we took out. Leather, left leg, shadowed, pocketed. All right, I'll, I'll take that. Yep. Look at all that. Holy cow. All right, so now we get to clear this out. Take Mentats. Ah, there we go. Taboo tattoos. Currently not going to have a facial tattoo. I knew there was a... Uh, take the giddy up buttercup. Now this place actually has shit in it. I think there might be an enemy in there. Let's take a look. I don't see anything though in there. I don't see anybody. Look at you. Whoa, whoa, whoa. It's like too far away. Blue, we're not alone here. I think I was too far away. Nope. I hit him. I just couldn't kill him. He's dead now, though. Only a fucking coward hides. Here. <laughs> Give the Mori style tattoos that covers your whole face. Yeah, Edie as well. Hell yeah, man. Disappearing act, huh? Okay, I should be able to hit him. You know what? Let's just try. There we go. Good old vats. Vat sniping. Oh, both hit. Nice. Only had a 50 fi Oh, and they were going to use a stim pack. <laughs> nice shot. Headshotted that one. I know you're there. I know you're there. Second I looked away. Fuck. That one. Next. Hmm. Fine, fuck it. Headshot that one. Something's not right. Okay, we got that one. We got these guys. Okay, well, let's. Hit these two. Boom. <laughs> really held your own there, I mean, it helps that we have high ground. I mean, these... And it's dark. <laughs> so, uh, not exactly great for them. I know they're there. See it moving. Oh, no, that's just fabric moving. No, that's a, that is a raider. I just gotta get a better angle. Come here. Blue, we're not alone here. I missed it. You. Damn, managed to miss him. Both times, he ran for it. <laughs> I mean, smart raider. Hey, who said you could hide? Make it a run for it. All right, so we got a couple of options here. I think we're gonna go down this way. Oh, I probably should have raided those. Back down here. Slowly but surely. And let's pick up some spoils. I can carry something if you need me to. Not necessary, Piper. We're good for the moment. Take the beer bottle. Oh, I know you're here. We'll take the dirty water. At this point, we're just doing total total savage. Fuck the pack dog. Wow, that thing had a lot of hit points. Jesus. Hey, something's out there. Shit, Molotov. 
I could barely see it, man. All right. While we're doing that, let's check the apparel. Okay, that's not good. That's better. So, yes, we'll take that. Shadowed also makes you a little more stealthy. So that's nice. Pocketed is also very nice because it adds uh, carry weight. Although uh, lightweight tends to be a little bit better because you're better off it just not weighing as much. But pocket is still a nice second place. Uh, minus 15 damage while blocking or sprinting. And I do sprint a lot. So we will take that. There we go. Perfect. Take that. Rad X. Buff out. I'll take the Molotov cocktail. Actually, what do I have equipped? Explosives wise. Oh, I should definitely be firing more of these. Fucking assholes. Shit, shit, shit. Oh, I almost fell. That was almost horrible. I would have fallen and died horribly. Where the hell are the rest of these guys? All right, they're, they're down below. <laughs> that was almost horrendously catastrophic. <laughs> I actually started going over the edge. All right, right leg is now what I have. Legendary, right? Yeah, right leg's what I've got. Legendary. Fuck it. I'm gonna leave it. Down we go. And of course, we're doing this at night while it's hard to see. Of course, that works both ways. <laughs> oh, look at that. Sure. I don't think I'm hitting, but we'll take a shot. Dog. Shit. Got him. <laughs> Got him that time. Okay. So this gets pretty dicey, especially while we're as low level as we are. Oh, shit. This is normal for other I did not hear that guy at all. Good thing dog meat was there. Oof. Gas cams were hell. Yeah. Come back here, damn it. Must be right below us. I don't see anything. <laughs> oh, no, you're not. You're going to die, buddy. Huh. You must be further down than I thought. It's just those. I think I just grabbed some booze. I really didn't want, but it's fine. I'll take the frag grenade. I'll take more aluminum. I like aluminum. Those work. All right. I'll take the broom. Worth it. No, they're out here. Plus, we got uh, <laughs> we got Sully that have to worry about too. There they are. There they are. This is bullshit. In fact, that's probably him now. Yep, Sully Mathis. Ooh, and he's gonna be a problem. <laughs> Oh, 
perfect world, we'd be able to kill this guy first and then mine the area. Crazy. That guy's right there. Ah, the combat zone. Oh, hell no! I'd like to damn. We kill him without Sully finding out about us? Sweet. Good. Now. Okay. I know it's you. Shit. Go back to your hole, Mathis. Nothing. Gotta be. Where is it? Last time he went up here. Yep, perfect. Yep, there he is. What I want to do. Do, 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 do. Huh? Let's do this. <laughs> it begins. Oh, he used a stim pack. Better explosives, Molotovs. Ow! He shot it. Fuck. Fuck. <sighs> Bastard. We got him. Oh. Fucking reload. There we go. Ooh, we got him. Hey, Nikki. <laughs> oh, I hope you feel better. Thanks for lurking with us. Oof. Not a surprise that he had a Magnum auto loader himself. We will take that. Yeah. You know what? lightweight take a look here what do we got here not worth replacing a legendary item I think we're all right okay we got it <laughs> same thing yeah just going, just fine. going fungus Oof. yeah he hurt us pretty good but we managed to survive take a noodle cup and uh, mole rat chunks. <laughs> Our vision was actually getting a little dizzy. We were so low on health. All right, where's Piper? Okay, she recovered by herself. Cool. We don't need the Magnum auto loader. You know, we'll take it anyway. Because, yeah, we just got some uh, ammunition for that. So that was pretty awesome. Which one of you is... Either one of you is... Ah, there's our legendary. Let's go to the legendary. Hey, buddy. One of you. Damn. It takes so much... Sorry, dog meat. Had to hit the legendary miler. Oh, well, that one. Stamp pack dog meat. Yeah, it was a mistake. There we go, we got him. Sweet. Definitely worth the XP. Ho ho ho. Ah, freezing? Really? That sucks. Oh well. But it was nice to be able to um stim pack dog meat because when you stim pack dog meat, your companions like that. So that was definitely that was worth it. Take our gasoline, spoils. 
Don't have anything else out here. Grab all this shit. Salvage, salvage, salvage. All right, now we can go over to the elevator. This is why we did not go to the elevator initially. Damn it. <clears throat> because if we took the elevator down, all of the raiders in the entire place would have been able to just tee off on us over here. And it would have been very, very, very bad. <laughs> there we are. Yes. All right. Piper admires us. Cool. What does that mean? You gonna talk to me again? Hey, just let me know. You sure managed to find your fair share of trouble, don't Excellent. You? That's what we want. It usually finds me. Hey, I'm not one to judge. <laughs> Honestly, it's just nice to not be doing it alone for a change. <laughs> In my line of work, things tend to get pretty hairy. I've been shot at, poisoned, nearly executed. Heck, until recently, they called the lockup in Diamond City the Piper Suite. Anything for a story, I suppose. This one is funny. Someone poisoned you? <laughs> you kidding me? I barely had the paper going before I got poisoned. First time, I just published an article about this cartel of caravans that had been driving up food prices in the city. Article went over well, even got a boycott of their goods started in town, so... I figured I'd pop over to the dugout in for a victory drink. I'd already taken a swig by the time I realized something was wrong. The Dean, he wasn't at the bar. The beer tasted off, even more so than usual. And I started feeling real woozy. I don't know what he slipped me, but I knew I had to get it out. I'm looking around for something, and there it is. The still, and I just start chugging moonshine. Honestly, I'm still not totally convinced it was better than just dying from the poison, but it worked. And while I was passed out on the floor, security managed to grab the bartender. He eventually ratted out his bosses, and they all got to share some time in the pen. Seems that execution didn't quite take, huh? <laughs> Thank God. I'd been working on this story about irradiated drinking water in Bunker Hill. I traced the water back to its source through these old sewer tunnels, and what do I find? The children of Adam, setting up like they own the place. Unfortunately, they found me just as quick. Turns out they were not fond of reporters. So, to atone for my trespassing, they decided to make a sacrifice to Adam. Me. Kneeling there, about to get the boot into this huge sewer pipe. When suddenly I blurt out, Adam, he reveals himself. And they buy it. They pull me back from the ledge and then gave me their induction ceremony. You are looking at an official acolyte of Adam. Took me a couple more days before I managed to sneak away, get Bunker Hill security to finally clean the place up. You've led an exciting life. Sure have. But honestly, now that I'm out here with you, I feel like I'm just getting started. Getting in trouble, it's what folks like us do. I mean, you and I are out here putting ourselves at risk so people in the Commonwealth can have a chance at a better life. Not for praise or reward or glory, but because it's right. I, I just wanted to let you know I'm real happy to be along for the ride. <laughs> I wouldn't want it any other way. I like having you close. Oh, uh, thanks, Blue. That, that's awfully sweet. And unexpected of you. So you want to get out of here? I love how fucking awkward she is <laughs> when you hit on her. <laughs> oh, man. Fucking classic. So now we're going to get out of here. We'll drop off all this shit and we'll go explore. Let's just explore a little bit. See what we could find. See what kind of trouble we can get into. In a perfect world, what I'd like to do is also uh, go up to um, Ten Pines Bluff and connect that to the... Um... Actually, I know what quest we should also be doing. But let's uh, 
You know what? I know exactly what question we should be doing. But that's okay. Uh, let's not mess around with that just yet. We've done that. We've done that. We've cleared this. Uh, yeah, we probably should do that quest. We should do that quest. But just the same, even though I do like trying to leave as much of this unexplored as possible, our companions do like when we clear locations and there's a location that's close by here that's very easy to clear. And we should clear it anyway because it's close by our fucking headquarters. <laughs> so we're going to do that. Cruise over here. We're going to clear two locations. What is this? I'm not remembering this. Q Gandalf meme. I have no memory of this place. I remember this now. Fucker. Bastard. And of course it hits me. Shit. Take the brain fungus. Oh, there's another one. Couldn't get the bash running fast enough. Oh well. Uh, yes, we will take the fuse. Combination wrench isn't worth the wait. In my humble opinion. All right. Yeah, this wonderful place. Bedford Station. Yeah, what else did I just get? Time. <laughs> Shit. Still managed to miss that one. We got this one. Oh, hell no, buddy. <laughs> Kill that fucking ghoul. Oh, that little bastard ran out of his sight. Holy shit, dog meat. Okay, dog meat, never mind. Fucking dog meat, like a boss. That was awesome. <laughs> Holy shit, dog meat. God damn, buddy. All right. <laughs> Dutchman's instructions. I think that's. Let's take a look at the Dutchman's instructions here. Do -do -do -do. Read these. Delivery package to the old switching station. The runner arrives at midnight. Need gear? Look for the blue barrel. All right, so if there's a blue barrel, there's going to be some gear in it. Let's go find it. I'll take the empty blood pack. interesting you can make it e9 at this point that probably would sound more like a code than in a anything else but we'll be able to discern a lot more about whatever the fuck that was in a second let's see take some rad x 
Oh, we got a rad storm coming, because of course we do. Uh, and if some ghouls were around that, we could ex we could have exploded it. Not a big deal. There that. Here's our blue barrel. Look at that. It's interesting, actually. Yeah, I'll take that bathrobe. <laughs> actually, we'll take that bathrobe. Hmm. I don't think I'm going to be able to actually get up there. Is that alive? Yep, that guy's alive. That one's a problem. Shit. Boom. <laughs> I love how Vats doesn't go to the first one that's like right in front of you. You know, the one that's literally charging us. Like, come on, Vats. Don't do that to me. All right, you guys got that one under control. Good job, dog meat. I love it when dog meat grabs it. <laughs> Man, that looks fucking alien as shit as the uh, as the fucking uh, sun in our hands anyway. kind of uh, warps the uh, rad storm. That looks awesome. All right. Uh, sure. No, oh, no, we didn't get any. We didn't get any ammo from that. That one just didn't have anything in it, I guess. Piper. Hey, this should be a piece of cake. Yes, it should. Take all this crap. Wow, we have 20 beer bottles. That would explain. <laughs> that explains a lot. Hey, okay, we definitely want the bags of cement. That thing usually we could blow up the uh, ghoul with, but not this time. Take a look at the loading dock terminal. Cargo regulations. There they are. Cargo regulations. Cargo manifests. Let's see. Steel rebar fastenings. Electrical wire. I don't see anything particularly interesting. Pallet. Granite. 24 tons. All right. Cool. Well, yep. That's everything out here. Looks like everything checks out. We'll take the missiles. Hell yeah. And we'll take the frag mine. Compensate for the frag mine we lost. Cool. Well, I guess the question is, do we stick around in here and ride out the storm? Or do we just go outside and make a run for it? Give me that gas canister. Hell yeah. And the extinguisher. Okay. Ooh, and the desk fan. Let's take a quick look. Oh, we're not all that far away from Starlight Driving. We can make it. We already took damage and radiation damage anyway, so we may as well fucking do it. All right, let's go back to there. We'll dump off all this shit, and then we'll head. We'll head south. Yeah, we're we're pretty well loaded up here. This was a good. This was a good run. Real quick. Head out, get some XP, clear the location. We did clear the location. Yep, clear the location. Excellent. That's a fucking rad scorpion. God damn it. Motherfucker. Oh, motherfucker. Motherfucker. I fucking hate these things so much. Well, we already took out most of its... We hit it pretty good. I know, dangerous to just jump on top of a car. Wait, did we kill it? Oh, we killed it. I must have gotten most of it. And then Piper must have gotten the other shot. Huh. All right. Different. 
but okay, we'll take it. We will take that. Cola, sure, I don't know. that stuff. Okay, well, fine. That works for me, right? <laughs> like, I was thinking that was going to be really, really bad, but I, I managed to hit it in the head, so that was very helpful. And I guess Piper, Piper must have followed it up. Nice. What the fuck? <laughs> this is fucking great. Yeah, she should be over there. Obviously, uh, poured it in at the wrong spot. That's hilarious. Hey, buddy. Excuse me. Hi. How are you? I'm new around here. I heard your radio beacon, so I figured, why not? I wanted to personally thank you for giving us this opportunity. Anything specific you want me to do? I'm willing to pitch in any way you need. Did you need anything? Well, to be honest, we're a bit short of food. Anything you can do would be appreciated. Yeah, they need they do need more food. But by now, she should have been able to pull some. There we Seems go. Seems to be growing well. Perfect. And just like that, we could. Oh, fuck's sakes. Right. There was a bottle cap mine around here somewhere. Well, that guy's okay. But this Minuteman fucking patrol just fucking ate it. Oh, man, that was bad. <laughs> Holy shit, that was bad. All right. Uh, are there any more bottle cap mines? I should have used bats to find out. I totally forgot that there was a... Uh, I totally forgot there was a bottle cap mine in there. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, we're not going to talk about the weird floating lady. No, no, no. <laughs> Just bug says does its best. See, you're wasting your time talking to Marma Murphy. That floating woman's got the good shit. Hell yeah, she does. Although I do feel bad about missing the bottle cap mine. Oh my goodness. Whoops. That's all right. Um... Well, just like that, we lost a minute, man. <laughs> oh, fuck. Mm -hmm. Bug says to live and well. All right. There we go. Good. So now we've got food taken care of. Let's, uh, Piper. Hey, Piper. You know, you look like you could really use this. These things have literally saved my life. <laughs> Uh, that's not really what I wanted, but that's all right. Is everything sure. all right between us, Piper? You got nothing to worry about. <laughs> We're good. One minute they're there, and next minute they're not. Say we get back to making trouble. That's all for now. Sure. Hey. What can I you. All right. Yeah, give me all this trash back. Yep. Oh, I know we're carrying too much. We are carrying way too much. A second I'll lug my happy little tush over here. I'll make my way over to there in a minute. Hmm. Ah. Uh, this is probably on the catwalk. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> We got a bloat fly over there. Interesting. All right. So let's transfer. Yeah, store all the junk. We got a pipe wrench. We don't need the two millimeter pistols. We don't need the pipe bolt action one. I don't need two. Oh. Yeah, that thing sucks, man. That thing sucks. You know what? We'll probably break that down just for the legendary component. Just to have it. May as well. Okay, uh, gunner's green bandana that can go in there. Military fatigues. Oh, bathrobe. I should give that to dog meat. These I'd like to break down the next time I see them. Uh, oh yeah, that I should definitely be equipping. Whoa, that's way better. Holy crap. Okay, but maybe I should just trigger bombs. Dog meat. 
Du -du 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 -du. Dirty water. Cola. Yep, put the bourbon back in there. Okay. Let's equip the better one we just got. Because goddamn, what am I thinking? Hell yeah, we should be doing that. Uh, and the next time I see an armor bench, we'll need to break these down. Although I could just put these in here. There's really no reason to keep them. Probably no reason to break them down. I may as well just dump them. Yeah, metal chest piece. That'll work. Uh, you know what? For now, we'll do that. And I will equip the militia hat because the militia hat boosts my charisma. Hell yeah. I got a cool hat at least out of the deal. I mean, I'm sorry the Minuteman kind of died, but... <laughs> uh oops yeah that's that's pretty sick man that's that's good shit over there <sighs> ticks me off i missed the bottle cap mine i might have would have much rather had that hello cleo i know you're a good girl uh all right so oh let's scrap that missed that yeah scrap that all right but all in all this was a very successful settlement building stream I think this might be a good place to call it quits, though, because now as we um, so what I'm planning to do next to kind of continue leveling up Piper here is to just kind of adventure down in here. And I think the next thing to do would be to clear out the water treatment plant. And that one does actually take a little while. And I'm looking at the time and I'm like, yeah, it's it's it's, it's this, is, this is probably a good place to stop. But um, I mean, hell, we could do that or we could go over. I mean, we could do that, or we could bail out the Brotherhood over here, but there are a bunch of locations over there I'd rather... I'd rather get Gift of Gab first. But, uh, yeah, I'm thinking this is a good place to kind of... I'm thinking this is a good place to, to call it a night. Let's, uh, let's save, and then we will exit. But all in all, not too bad. I would say this is mission, mission fucking accomplished. Let's see who's live. Is anybody else l up late? Um, or am I tired? You know what? I'm tired. Usually when I raid out. Oh, fucking Christ. <laughs> Here I'm talking about doing a raid. Here I am talking about doing a raid and uh, an ad was playing through the whole thing. Um, but yeah, no, I think this is a good place to call it quits for the night. Um, I wish I'd seen that before. I would have told the ad uh, to hold off for a minute. Um, but that's okay. Um, yeah, I think we're just gonna, we're gonna shut this down. Um, but let's see. Um, I might stream again on Thursday just because at this point now I'm kind of feeling Fallout 4 and, um, and whatnot, but I will, I will confirm that on Twitter on Thursday. Otherwise, I hope everybody has a great week. If I do or do not on Thursday, I will definitely be back for Saturday to do more Earthbound. And depending on how well we do, we might even finish the game uh, of Earthbound on Saturday of the progress that we're making, because we're making pretty good progress. I probably will not farm for the uh, definitely doing more New Vegas on Thursday. Nice. So that might that might be a good segue. Um, although, shit, I'm really enjoying your New Vegas show, so I might just kick back and just watch some New Vegas. I guess I'll... I guess I'll make a game a game day decision on uh, on that one, but I'm loving your your Vegas uh, playthrough. Um, yeah, I'm I'm I am definitely tired. I'm not raiding out to anybody, but anyway, everybody have a good one. Thank you for joining me uh, on this wonderful evening, and I will catch you guys all on the next one. Until next time, ciao.